Hey. Yeah. Emerald in my eyes. I'm so feisty and nice. Every coin has to side. Whichever you want, you can decide. Hey, hey, long hair, don't care. My drip is always so rare. So many magical spells. What I'ma do next, ain't nobody can tell. I see my face. You gon' won't see my face. Don't get fooled by my smile. You can't handle my fire. I see my face. You gon' won't see my face. Don't get fooled by my smile. You can't handle my fire. mode on the mains first to dome break 808s gives you hope but it's all in vain chrome boss goes nothing remains drama come and go i thrive a flame got that window missed out the pains stained glass flows shatty up brains you already know gods don't pray when i fold my hands it's fist to face no a or men above the elven race kicks up ends i keep the pace if you're not my friend that's a scary fate you'll find your end but i'm end game edge lord again you know the name y'all humans we're not the same only care i give is elven eights i'm from Eria. i'll put the fear in ya <laughs> i'm from Eria. i'll put the fear in ya yeah. Hit the beat again, like I'm domestic. Call me the villain, but I'm only restless. You're not 40k, then you're off the guest list. Even space marines are defenseless. Yeah, I play the game like League of Legends. Take your towers down, I break the nexus. Prag your defense, cut protections like a foot clan. Shred all dimensions. I'm a winning bet, like I'm counting cards. Mastered magic, but without the shards. No Kessig, no Shaharazad. Tell me, God of Hail, Storm, and Elrod. It's like demons, like a Fennec Fox, Breath Meek Sun. I made the cut, I'm a fate weaver. I tie the knot and I'm not done. I never, never give up. up. I'm from Eria. I'll put the fear in ya. <laughs> I'm from Eria. You know what? Listen, they want to smoke when well, I'm bringing the fire. fire. Ranked up my flow so my damage, damage is higher. Stepped in the ring, think you're full swinging. I'm a heavy stander. Hit steady pinging. I'm from Eria. I'll, I'll put, put the fear in ya. Stop out your whole squad. They, they don't, don't meet the, the criteria. criteria. Killing ya. I want it all better. Bring it. Punching you down like the trees in my kingdom. That's a critical hit and it's far from the final one. Piercing your heart like an ice spear. I am the one on the night sphere. Dueling maces, I'm right here. Back on the track and I'm loving it. Light up your foes like they're all in an oven. I won't hide. Got the soul of a giant. With the titans of bells, even gods can deny it. Hello, 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 hello everybody. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh I'm 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 gonna be real. I'm gonna be real for a sec. Uh I'm a little tired right now. <laughs> we had a we had a late night with the Kalabanogi Awards. Awesome event, by the way, it's they put on. It was it was great. It was great to see everybody show up. Um it was great to 
see everybody's uh, acceptance speeches. Some of them were really, really heartwarming and, and touching. It was great. Um, but that ran me until like 3 a.m. Uh, and then I had to be up at 6 for work. So we're, uh, we're running on a little bit. We're, we're running a little bit light on sleep right now. But we're okay. We're okay. We're just uh, at a little bit low energy. Uh, but we're uh, we're doing Mabby Learning with Ronnie Use Me. We're we're in the Discord chat with him right now, but everybody's muted. I don't know what's going on right now. So uh, we're chilling right now, waiting for that to start up. Uh, I'm sure we got, we got a few people here that are interested in learning how to run Glen Berna normal. If you're interested. Feel free to stop by. Happy to teach all the mechanics for this. It's going to be a good old time. Um, pretty confident in our ability to clear the dungeon and show off all the different mechanics. Maybe take it a little bit slow for the first couple of runs, you know. Uh, we get four runs this, this week because of the event that's ongoing right now so it's it's gonna be pretty cool uh yeah i'm excited to get the get through the glen runs i haven't done my glen runs this week yet i mean it, re it resets on saturday I'm streaming now there's ronnie Hello, I, I heard everyone. him for a second oh there's rosie did I say hi to them? I don't know. I don't know. I don't also know if I should say hi. Uh, I think uh, the awkward silence for a little bit longer. What is my armor looking like? My durability is good. Okay, I don't need to actually do any more uh, durability. Well, there's a Ronnie. You should run your. I'll tell you, we still have room. I'm pretty sure. There's six people here and eight mm -hmm. slots in Glen. All right. Yeah, I think I think we'll unmute. We'll say hi to everybody. Ah, uh, Prue with the Pokeballs. Hopefully this goes well. I have uh, I have this button here. You don't um, link Saint? That's fine. Bang! I can... uh, Tim, if you want to drop just you and I in. Yeah. This is Ronnie's stream right now. I pulled up. I have a button. We can see Ronnie's perspective. If we want to do it. So the first section here is. Okay, choosing gonna, your parties. Gonna... So you'll need to stand in two groups of four on each of these day and night sides. I like going night because it's much more pleasant on the eyes, even though day is considered the easier option. In the night you face the grandmother at the end, and day you finish you face the golem. That's the only major difference. But you'll notice, once we get out of this room, you'll see that I get tied to Lunia. So Tenno and I will actually share a lifeline where if that lifeline ends up being eaten fully we can no longer revive. This is true. Now, this no is a great example of how to find the grandma's attack patterns early. Reaches zero. I'm just going to back away before that hits me. It'll if she hits you with any of the fire side. attacks, you start taking 100 damage a second. And your goal here is just to get her down to 95%. It's often a good idea not to have your pets mm -hmm. on here. Well, actually, actually, hold on. Let me, uh, let me unmute. Let me unmute. Hey, Rexy. Uh, I want to add a little bit of two cents here, if that's all right. By all means. In in this particular fight right now, um, I find that it's it's often a good idea to keep your pets desummoned just for this part, uh, because most of her attacks will just one shot pets even through Divine Link. Um, the one thing you can do is run your pet to the corner of the map so that it doesn't die to any of her random like AOE attacks. Uh, and that way it's ready to go for the for the next round. <laughs> yeah, because if, if, if when she hits 95%, you'll notice that we get locked in a, like a time-stopped animation right here. So we no longer do damage to her, and soon I'm not going to be able to move at all, actually. Unless she's glitched out. It's it's been taking a while. 
the past couple weeks. It's been taking a while for her to decide to send people through. I'm just gonna... Oh, there she goes. So now you can see I can't move. I'm clicking. WASDing. You can still summon pets. You can still summon pets. You can grapple shot, anchor rush. But, oop. But then you get moved over. So I'm in the day side. First things first. And this should be the it for the uh, for the quest, right, Rixie? Like, defeating her is Correct. enough? Perfect. Yes. Then, Tenno, we can leave. But if you notice on the upper left corner... Oh, mission failed. <laughs> 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 you can force cancels time stop by casting Fusion Bolt. Interesting. I did not know that. Atelier and the Fusion Bolt knowledge. Uh, <laughs> And Mew, we are on channel 7 by the... There's Mew. Yeah, there's a little bit of talking to NPCs, Tenno. Um, the tips for the second half of the... Uh... For the second half of the quest line, there's two dialogue things you'll need to enter in. Um, oh yeah, look up a guide. The, <laughs> the, the second time, the guy's name is in the quest. So you, could, you can basically copy how it's spelled from the quest that you have. Uh, I don't want to... I don't know. It will, is, is it like outside of spoiler season? Is it okay to just give the answers? Or is it... Is it too soon? For I mean, I think it's... I, I feel like with Tenno, it's up to Tenno. Otherwise, I personally think it's it's been it's been out long enough. Yeah. You can also use Hydra during the 10% months. phase and click on her to guarantee standing in the center of hit her hitbox. I did not know that. Hmm. Oh, Alpaca, you did not get in the party. And then, so we're waiting on Rosie. Oh, there's Rosie. And then we'll have room for one more after Tenno. Oh, I have mail. Oh, I know what I can do. While we wait, I'm opening Gotcha. <laughs> Pretty likes gotcha opening, right? Let's watch. Let's watch. There we go. And his alpaca goes, gotcha! <laughs> I don't know. I pulled pretty well. I don't remember what I got. I just know I pulled pretty well for whatever it was. <laughs> I rolled well. I don't remember what, but you spent more on the gotcha? Oh no. <laughs> Why? It's always a bad idea. Never spend money on gotcha. Okay. We're going to start with the Aaron Beauty box. Oof. I'm gonna hope for those fancy, fancy hairs that I like. Hey, Liberati. I hope you got something good for that amount. Plump Maelstrom Face Beauty Coupon. Oof. Not, not at the Beauty Face Coupon. The, the... Overdrive Dandy Cut Hair. I don't know what that one is. I don't know what any of them are. <laughs> White crusted, strong willed eyes, plump heart star face, plump maelstrom beauty face again, spiral tip twin tails, F. White crested Latin? spectral eyes, world wise eyes, blue spark. I didn't get any faces in the microphone. Oh, I got three already. <laughs> White crested hero's eyes, two tone, tussled long hair, F. Imposing boy small mouth beauty mark face coupon M. That is a mouthful. <laughs> that is a human one. I'll have to see what it looks like on my partner. Winter royal formal hair. The text goes off the menu. It tr it sure does. Yep. You just extend that. <laughs> Hopeful mouth. Fledgling assassin F. Surf and turf hair. Overdrive dandy cut. Again. Costly hair. Wait, I got costly hair? Which is my costly hair? <laughs> I want to I sell it. The Tussled.
them. White crest and strong willed, wistful mouth, plump heart star face, pointy bandaged face, brusque mouth, and gladiator hair. You're hidden behind the gotcha? You sure are. But it's 250. Hey, Rixie, I get to pay you. <laughs> <laughs> I finally won't owe Rixie anything anymore. This is great. Let's sell it at 225. Oh, I gotta send a reminder to Enrian. <laughs> I'm gonna go collect on that debt. <laughs> or something. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm kind of in a lull right now because there's nothing I'm really, like, looking to buy because everything I'm looking to buy is just too much. With That's, that's how I've been for a long time until you gave me a deal. Um, yeah. Good pulls? I, yeah, I got, a, I got one really good pull and that's all that matters to me is that I'm, I'm rich now for the moment that I pay Rixie. Uh, what, what was the thing called that you got? Um, tussled long hair? question mark huh. yeah i don't uh, know what tussled long hair beauty coupon f anything. all right and then the ice worm the book off are there any others in this that are worth a lot that you know of there was the male one was worth a lot for a while i liked the outlander hair hair and that was expensive i don't know if the price changed because i only looked at the prices when it was new mm. right, ice born normal Life skill two times experience potion that's going to be handed to someone for free. <laughs> Speedwalk potion, a name chat potion in pure white, party photo wall, a morning flower patch. Yo, actually, I do like the three morning patches. 150 mil for the Outlander hailer. Yeah, see, it didn't go down at all. Uh, Death's thorn wall. Magic Speed Potion, Clumsy Gesture, Speedwalk Potion, Monochromatic Dark Red, Slurp Gesture, another Life Skill Potion that'll be handed for free, a Winter Forest Campsite. I don't think I have one of these. Fill in that chair inventory. I know Mew's excited to hear that. <laughs> nice, nice. I don't need this enchantment. Another Clumsy Gesture, some Noble Shoes, a Peacock Carpet. So many Peacock Carpets. Another Death Thorns Wall. <laughs> Winter Forest Wanderer Gloves, the special Winter Fairy Short Outfit for female. It's not one of the new ones, so I'm, I'm doubting it's expensive, but it's cute. Another Winter Forest Campsite, the Crisis Escape Training Potion, and the Iceborn Noble Hand Ornament. I'm going to plot the Iceborn Noble. Let's see. It's 5 mil. It's not 0. Oh, Mew, do you have the campfire, by the way? You're allowed to speak in the call, Mew. Can I be heard? Yep. You have the permission to, if you have the permission to get into the call, you have the permission to speak in the call. Making sure, being careful. But yeah, that's a good chair. You should definitely, like, use it in a snowy area like this. <laughs> but what if I put it in the middle of Dunbarton so it just looks out of place? That's the best way to use chairs, isn't it? <laughs> that's true. It's also kind of funny because it's, like, oddly thick, so people lose their ankles in it when they walk through it. I've seen that, and I'm just like, why? <laughs> why? If you have, like, uh, effects, like your Echo Stone effect, it'll also appear in the middle of the chair, too. I've seen that, yeah. I, the the especially the like um, oh, what do you call it? Stardust and such. Yeah, they stay in the center too. It's just it shows where your true character position is. It's a tell. <laughs> hey, Lista. Do I have slurp yet? I did not have slurp yet. Now I do. Congratulations on your slurp. Slurp, slurp, indeed. Merlin, why is Toad here? 
Are you talking about uh, Lumi's, Lumi's video? Personally, I'm still... Um, so many people do, do such creative things um, on the Collab and Ogie Awards videos, and I'm like... I just I just had my character, you know, screaming about why wasn't I the best mod? If Toad has shown up in your quest to finish Glenn. What? Oh, you're just calling Merlin Toad for the for the same reason though. Yes, yes, Merlin does show up because Merlin shows up just randomly way too often. I always pretend I don't know him. And a pickup line for alpaca. Yeah. Shoot, I can't remember if it's alpacas or llamas that spit, because that was going to be my joke. Why not both? How this? I'm going to look at your... Are, are, are you a belly dancer? Because that belly... I don't, I don't know, man. I'm tired. I don't know what happened today, but I was asleep for a huge chunk of the day, like like 18 hours. Want to trade? <laughs> um, Peach. I was... Ada, ada. There you go. I was up until about 3 because of the um, Collab and Ogie Awards, and then I had to be up at 6 for work. I went to sleep pretty much right after them. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. They then I woke up and I went back to sleep. for me. And I went, mm, yeah. Hey, Pinipa. All right, Tenno, how's it looking? And then I guess I'll invite one more person. If we don't have someone on the way from chat, I'm just going to send out an invite. I'm Is Gary around me? We're going to take it slow and do all the mechanics, right? That's the idea. Um, for the first time, yes. We're gonna basically progressively go faster and faster, is my usual plan. Peach, you are welcome to come. Like, you're not too weak, and we know it. <laughs> you got tired just listening to it, it says a beast. Yeah, I don't know how... Like, not only does she write and edit and get plan all of these things with so many different moving parts and people uh and then also does it for hours <laughs> hours that's amazing i mean she said it herself she's just built different mm -hmm. yeah i don't i don't understand it it's an, it is always impressive to me that, that was her lyric, by the way. She, I had something else written there. She changed it to built different. <laughs> Club New was what, seven hours long? Wasn't it close to eight? It seven. was pretty long. It, 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 I think it just broke seven or was getting close to seven, so it, it wasn't too much. Ah, uh, see, I, I round up pretty much immediately. Mm -hmm. Like, once, once the seven hour mark breaks, I'm like, okay, it's been eight hours. <laughs> Well, Peach, now's your last chance. It's it's first come, first serve, and if you don't show up, it looks like Gari will come. Looks like Gari has gotten here earlier, so it looks like, Peach, you are too late. Ba, ba, ba. Hey, Kaho. Those who might not have seen Kaho, Kaho does some Mabby and some art, and they're part of Lumina's group. Um, oh god, I've forgotten the name. Rixie, do you know the Lumina's group name? Which which group? The one that Earth? Kaho's part of? Paranormality, oh, thank you. I don't know. I, I was gonna say I I know it's paranormal, but I can't remember what what, what play on words for the paranormal part. <laughs> yeah, um, too tired to care. Yeah, I'm playing Mabby. 
I'm, pl I'm playing Mabby. I'm playing Mabby. Yeah, you guys know uh, Lumina and I'm playing Mo, Mabby and Kaha is part of that group as well, as well as a few other people. I am unaware of these things. I try to um, know a little bit about everybody, at least. Mm -hmm. Felt bad because there was some people in the um, uh, Kalabinogi Awards that I did not know. I can't say the same. Um, some of them have... Uh, how can I put this? Some of the people who win awards... Some, so because the voting was done so many months ago, like some of them have either toned down their streams or taken breaks or this or that. You might not see them as much currently. Mm -hmm. But um, some like Selzer, for example, uh, a great friend, a great community member, has not streamed in a while because of busy stuff. Hey, Kalru, thank you for the raid. How was the rest of your stream? Did you did you get the number one victory royale? Yeah, Fortnite gonna gonna get down. You did not. You gave up. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, oh, flesh, flesh, cowru, flesh, cowru. <laughs> Yeah, face docs with your little dancing in the corner. <laughs> uh, for those who have not seen Kaoru, Mabby streamer, great streamer, does art. You might remember the fur gutters. That That's Kaoru's art. Don't, for, don't forget to give him a follow. And hi, Raiders. I'm mostly a Mabby streamer. My name's Ronnie. I am a uh, soul streamer from Mabinogi. I, I claim to be a variety streamer, and I've actually been doing variety lately, which has been so weird. But we're learning some Glen today. We're currently waiting on the last member of our party to finish the uh, quests. Let me just zoom in and make sure I'm not like, completely missing them being back already. Not yet. Okay. Uh, but once the last person is back, we're going to be teaching some more Glen. We have Ronnie with his Giga healing. Ready I don't know about I don't know about that. It's okay. I'm still... I mean... I mean... It's enough. Yeah, yeah it's enough. enough. <laughs> I think but I'm always... Hmm? Harmonic Saints here, so there should be plenty of Good. healing too. <laughs> Honestly, as long as you have one on each side, that's all you desperately need. Nah, you exaggerate. And you don't even need it, but it's nice. It's really nice yeah, to have. it's... There's, um, you can replace a saint with other things, but if you don't have the other things, so we can, we can actually talk specifics, I suppose. Um, like whale buffs are kind of important for the, if you get affected with the 100 HP drain, you kind of need a whale buff to, to counteract that. Um, or if, uh, cause voice of vitality does it by itself, basically. If you're a saint or have a saint. Yeah, it reduces it to a 25 tick instead of a 100 tick, which is yeah. um, basically nothing. <laughs> and if you don't have a whale, you can use a glyph, but that's going to be very difficult to uh, practically use because it makes you stand stationary, and that's very difficult to do in this dungeon um, in a lot of places. And then the, the other way to counteract it is with cat she summons for the pause, but that uh, that's also hit or miss because you may not have enough friend summons because uh, you kind of want to have divine link active from the majority of this dungeon so just summoning a kashi would mean either using a friend summon slot or desummoning your pet to summon one and and neither of those is and there are a few points where you're going to get wraithed so it's yeah and they're that typically well. at some of the harder combat sections of the of the dungeon as well so that's okay. where it's like hmm you can predict and dodge them if you time it. Um, I was given some really interesting information the other day about the timing of the wraiths. Uh, typically, oh. they start, they appear roughly like 45 seconds after the uh, start of the room. So if you use Fantastic Chorus, the duration on that is 
45 seconds. So if you see Fantastic Chorus run out, uh, you can prep to dodge the Wraith Roar that's incoming. Good, no- good um, to know. That is at least true on hard mode. The The spawn might be slower on normal, but you can at least predict, like, all right, Fantastic Chorus has run out. I need to keep an eye out for Wraith spawn. So if you just start every room with a red circle, you know. Definitely good um, to know. Yeah. We got all the info today. Because I know that after the Wraith is pretty reliably when the next Blizzard is going to start, but I didn't know how to time the Wraith. I'm bad enough at dodging Wraith roars anyways, and I probably will just rely on being hit by them. Um. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, it's it's not too detrimental once you're used to Glen, but the first run, man, it's rough. Like... It it feels like how do you even do this the first time you run it and you're subjected to that. Well, and I've been yeah, doing hard mode runs. Buried. Been clearing? No, Cheers. God, no. Oh. Um, no, I've been. We're. Uh, I'm. I'm in a hard mode group with uh, Lilac and Doggy. Mm-hmm. Um, not Doggy's main group, but. Yeah, you know, a, a teaching group which has been doing decently well, um, learning bit by bit. Uh, I I missed last week's training, which was probably a good thing because then Tira was forced to try and live without my healing, and he was like, "I learned a lot." And I'm like, "Tira, you recently <laughs> told us that you didn't have your divine link fixed." He's like, "Yeah, we I I didn't have any uh, resurrections for my for my pet," and I'm like, "Tira, Tira, why?" <laughs> I mean, Go train your divine world, link. In an <laughs> ideal world, your pet's strong enough that you don't need the the revives. Um, that's a, that's a bit much of an ask, but uh, that's that's the reason that uh, a lot of players will prefer the cart rider summon pets as their divine link pet for this dungeon. The cart rider has a chance to trigger something similar to Stardust, where it'll take significantly reduced damage and reflect the damage onto the enemy. Um, which is really strong in Glen, because if your pet isn't taking damage from every hit, it survives much longer. Um, mm-hmm. And the other half of that is that the cart rider pets automatically revive themselves when you summon them again. So if it dies during the dungeon, which in this dungeon is, is somewhat likely, um, it'll at least be prepared for you the next time you summon it. Um, so you don't yeah, have to we worry. As definitely, much. Uh, all the ones that have previously had that. Like the the revive on resummon were very yeah, like weak Nimbus. pets mm-hmm. for divine link at least. Yeah, but the cart rider pet because of the the reflect shield that it gets is insanely strong, especially in hard mode. But even in normal, makes sense. It, it's a big, big, big difference. Um, especially if you have it maxed out, um, like fifteen to seventeen k total level. Is usually when they start maxing out. Uh, so that's you a like few the weeks color of... sorting the well pet. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a few weeks of feeding it um, finny pets from blossoming cages. But uh, if you can get it there, it's um. There's ten more. It's usually strong um, enough that you don't need to have the revives because it'll just shrug off all the damage. Yeah, the big issue, the reason, so I hate to tell tell people this. People hate when I show them that pet, by the way, Mew, because it's it's not sorted by what it is or what's in it. It's just sorted by the fact that the color of the materials looks a certain way. But it looks visually really <laughs> good. <laughs> it it yeah. visually looks great, but it's not sorted well. <laughs> organized is organized. Hey, if you know the color of the thing you're looking for, then you know where to find it. True. I try to sort it by either what it's for or where it drops most of the time. Ah. Somebody what mini info do you have, points. Alpaca? Somebody on the uh, YouTube chat also said you can use Fate Weaver 5 to heal through the damage. The, the 100 damage ticks. Yes, the weekly that. rewards on this are character-based, so you're able to uh, actually go through and get if you if you have multiple characters you can keep running guns. Yes.
Oh, and the rebirth pots from Potential are enough for a level 50 Arcana, apparently. I didn't know that. Alright, are we feeling ready and up for it? Let me pull oh, my ready. notes on the screen. Hide that right there. I'm gonna give us all a voice of vitality, and I'll BFO or Bracey, your BFO is better than mine. What am I talking <laughs> about? Thank you, thank you for the um, <laughs> for the juice. Uh, it's it's not often that I get this voice of vitality juice here. Um, it's nice though, caters, isn't it? By the way, uh, I bet I do. Oh, that's right. My master plan inventory is all sealed off. I have magic chat caters. <laughs> I um. I fixed my problem with my bard set, by the way. I got a marvelous effect seven echo. <laughs> so uh now I don't get sad when I play a Marv. I have bad catering dishes. <laughs> uh I can just I can just make a feel. And yeah, I do have my fishing title on. That was the last thing I was doing. Let me switch over. So everybody's aware of what we're doing here. Protection is a very important stat for this dungeon in particular. Um, the recommendation for normal is that you have 100 protection, and the recommendation for hard mode, I believe, was 100 and... Was it 130 or 180 or something? It's something ridiculous. It, it's something um, crazy. I thought it was 150, where I sit so, at like 70 protection. <laughs> yeah. Um... So you definitely want to have Blunting Field on as your technique card um, to try to boost that up as much as you can. Um, let me just find my catering skill here. And I can rebuff whenever. It's just, yeah. I'm not worried about the BFO running out. Would you, would you, uh, do we have a party of mostly mages? Would you guys prefer Vivace? I'm staring at the, um, everyone a mage yeah, but you. Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay. I can manage. I think you're the only non-mage. <laughs> I always gotta... Yeah, I always gotta check because lately everybody's a dark diviner and on that, uh, diviner juice. The, uh, Vivace for Shadow Flare stuff. Oh, right. I still don't have my Guardian of Dunbarton title. Juice has been slacking. It's okay, I also don't have that title. We'll survive. I need to go help them when they need you. I've never once done a guild battle. I don't know if I'd be of any assistance. Alright, we, okay. we got more than enough. Let me know when you're ready for us to drop you up, or ready for me to drop us in. Uh, let me just throw another buff in here somewhere. Uh, all right, we'll we'll throw some Vivace. Oh, don't forget your title. I'm fine. I'm good. With Gucci. Hard mode. No, I'm kidding. Uh, here is a protection oh, cater for everybody. Click it one time. Uh, which side do you want, Ronnie? Uh, I'll go night, Alpaca, you should go day, so we have a healer on either side. Nah, so, day, this first... day side doesn't need a healer. I mean, much less I'm, than okay. night side, which is why I... Because night side actually has to deal with grandma at the end. <laughs> yeah. She's the real reason to, like, need a healer. So again, at this beginning game. part, you're mostly just trying to make sure you don't take too much tick damage from Grandma. She has a few main attacks. She has the cone AoE that you just saw there. She has her cross, which hits one way, and then it switches to an X. It is random and then she directions. has a nice AoE. Yeah, that one's always in a random direction, but the uh, the second one is always a um, a, a rotation, just the same way. The now this section in every room is Divine Link. Immediately, yeah, this... Divine Link. Now this room, only one of us need to kill the deer if we wanted to uh, skip the mechanic. Now because we're doing the mechanic, both sides should kill the deer, and you'll notice on the left-hand side in the party menu, 
Atelia now has an ember. And nobody on day side has killed a deer yet for the firewood. Yeah, I'm on the wrong uh, hotkey setup. I'll kill that deer real quick. Uh, as Mickey Mouse says, this is a mystery tool that will help us later. Yes. Now with these enemies, you'll notice that the night side ones all have moon above their head, while the day side ones all have sunlight. With yes. these ones, it is as simple as killing the symboled enemies to fill up the paradox bar at the bottom of the screen. It just hit 100%, so now we unlock the seal to the next area. On a technical a... level, only one side needs to do the first room, because it's a shared progression bar. Uh, the that second is technically room, true of the second room as well. The second room has separate bars for each side. Wait, does it? I thought it was the third room yes. where it split off. Huh. No, the second, the second room, uh, we each have to individually... Um, oh yeah, so it is. But, uh, you can see down on the bottom, the day side and the night side have different paradoxes to correct. And, and then the you can always see your partner. Is by defeating mobs that have the little symbol over their head. And the rest of the mobs you can leave alive. So in this room, it's the, the plants and the cats. The plants are the ones that have a unique mechanic where if you damage a plant with the same type of damage on the same side too many times, you'll start to notice you do less and less down to once. So you need to alternate damage with the day side or night side, whichever is the opposite side of yours, to damage them. Or switch damage types. Yeah, or switch damage types. Now if you notice, there's a red circle here. Red circles are your best friend in Glen. And for archers, campfires are amazing too. Hell, even if you're not a camp an archer, having a campfire to just give a bit of body blocking is never a bad idea. And your archer Fire's friends will right. appreciate you. Yes, uh, archers definitely want to use their campfires in, in Glen. If you're using a crossbow, you don't benefit from it, but it does give you an object to kind of dance around to block mob pathing so you can get some free shots in. Uh, but really, the, the benefit is if you're using a bow for archery, it will increase all of your archery damage by 50%, which is wild. It's just a wild multiplier. So it's always, it's always, insane, always. and it, and it does it pretty late into the damage calculation, too. Yeah, it's the, the like final it, It's not like your base... Increase. Yeah, I was going to say, I know it's one <laughs> I, of the end ones, which is I cannot longers. confirm that... The campfire increases uh, arcana damage or not. I don't think it does. I don't think it needs to. Ow, immediate yeti. Um, so, so this area, the yeti, is going to be your your spookiest your spookiest foe. Uh, his roar, his windmill, and his snowball are all terrifying attacks that can one-shot you, so be careful. Um, using mana shield is very important for our mages here. You don't want to let the day and the night get too out of sync, or they'll start buffing the enemies in the zone. And as Rixie said, about 45 seconds in, you should get a wraith here, and then a little bit after that, a snowstorm. The snowstorm slowly drains your lifeline health, which again is seen in the left corner of the screen, as long as you're not near your partner. That's where you can. That's why I can see Mew here with the little sun icon. So I can go stand by her to avoid that. Now additionally, one of the things that we didn't mention, the wolves in that section, the, the Gwil Gwilgi, they will actually grab you and drain your lifeline health in a very frustrating way where you have to do the ADAD or left right left right to get out of it. Okay, uh, are Keep we ready to explain this mechanic? Okay. So the best, the best way to do this is everybody just stay away except for the person that has the ember or the firewood. And once you click the little brazier, just use Crisis Escape or Shadow Cloak to drop your aggro, and it will complete the uh, the little burning of the, of the uh, ember and firewood very quickly there. And that um, is a mechanic you can skip by not killing both the deer on either side in the beginning. You yes. can choose to kill only the day or night. And that will make the barrier take a few extra hits to break, but like it's not, yeah, it's not it's important. A it's a very easy mechanic, and the amount of health that the that the barrier gets is about the time it takes to finish the mechanic. So it's it's kind of whether you feel like doing it or not. And then on night side, we just did the mechanic with the four corners of campfires. So there, you have to destroy each of the braziers, which spawns the circle in the center. Once you spawn this circle, 
you get to stay inside of it to lower the defense of the barrier from the other side to deal with. Which I am One of the damaged. easiest ways is to just be... Uh, and Rosie, don't, don't forget to get in the circle in the center here when you get a chance. Uh, one of the easiest okay. ways to do that is just to use Dance of Death, and then when it runs out, you can Encore and Dance of Death again. For Elves, you can use Final Shot, um, so you can still hit mobs while you're doing it. Iron Will works as well. Iron Will's um, good. You can crisis also just Escape crisis kind escape. of well works. Yeah. It works if nobody else is there taking the aggro, so if everybody decides to Crisis Escape at the same time, it's a wonderful time. I knew it. Alright. And now it's our turn to do the Brazier mechanic. So I'm going to do a little bit of Archer Tease and kill two Braziers at once. I'm getting some mana back so I can res you, Rosie. Oh, and I'm grabbed. No, this, this is the grab mechanic that I was talking about where you just have to 80, 80, 80 to get out of it. And then now that we've finished that on our side, the day side is doing it instead. So I need to run over here. And I need to hit the barrier on this side. Which Atelier just single-handedly demolished it instead. <laughs> and then this last barrier, we both break together. And there's no one that needs to stand in the circle, so you can just kind of go. And luckily at this point, most of us can kind of just out-damage uh, majority of the mechanics. Yes. Excel at being dead. I know. I <laughs> Is see everybody you. on my side okay? Yeah, it looks like our healer's doing a fantastic job. And yes, Meal's correct. You can also sh Crisis and Shadow Clip the Red Circle to, get, to stay in if you're... If you're not getting knocked around by the enemies already, the balls in particular will just roll through and knock you out of it anyways. There's your uh, th there's your magic buff. I'm gonna go walk over here and give myself a nice juicy DF. Yeah, this area is your sort of refresh before the final boss. The next section is the, the final boss. Now, you can drop your green circles, you can drop your... Uh, glyphs of recovery here you can even throw the the tree technique through the wall gotcha. to affect both sides just like what okay. just showed and all these things will restore your mana stamina everything that you might need it's a great time to refresh your buffs and just be ready to ready to face the boss at full strength i'm sad that they finally patched out the the trick to walk through it It takes. I'm, I'm still not. Through, there we go. The cutscene just loaded for me. Now we're out. <laughs> That's how long cutscenes take to load for my computer. It happens. So we want to run all the way over here into this corner, and we're going to bring the grandma over. So, one of the things that's very good to know party healing affects both sides no matter what. Whether that's. Through, tr through dimensions, or like just through this barrier, you can party heal through it. Yes. Uh, we're hiding behind the rock on the golem. There's a way to kind of um, convince the golem that attacking you is not worth it. Yeah, if you let him load Ice Spear for, I believe it's six to eight seconds. Yes. He'll just kind of give up. Mm, I think that's enough time. I think we're okay. Yeah. As you can see, it's just like that. And now it's just free for the taking. And then, so the big mechanic here is going to be the souls absorbed by the brazier. You can see that right over my head in the upper right corner. Now, when you get to 30, everybody dies. So you don't want to get to 30. The two ways to get around it are either to out DPS the boss, thank you to Naya, hello. You can either out DPS the boss and do it real fast, or you can actually go into the, um, oh, I'm stuck in a corner. By the way, uh, Dayside has the, oh, the Shrade, thank you for the raid, the Shrade raid. Um, Dayside has the deer. Oh yeah, god, so many hearts. Um, 
please. Trade, you're a mod in my channel, right? Can you shout yourself out? <laughs> oh, are we not going to make it? That's interesting. Okay, we might have. Yeah, we did. Oh, you're not a mod close. in my channel. Dang, I thought you were. Okay. Um, one of, there's got to be... One, one of y'all has to be a mod, right? Hey, it's a... Um, but yes, thank you for the raid. For the raiders who do not know me, hi, I'm Ronnie, is me. I'm a soul streamer for Abinogi. Uh, right now we are learning Glenn. As my computer lags because of all the effects and the raid. Sometimes that's just what happens. We're at, the we're at our first boss run. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to load just a little bit of Hailstorm. Uh, Glenn Normal. When you I, have I a do not stream my blend over head, run toward the boss so that it explodes on it, and that way we don't get the next little mechanic thing that happens. Oh no. I'm at like five frames per second. <laughs> we made it. We're good. Okay, if we got over to 10%, that gives me a chance to do shout out. BT. There we go. Thank you again for the raid trade. Don't forget to water stretch. Ah, Shrade flying naked with a meal. That's that's quite the clip. Naked Shrade and a meal flying through the skies of Dunbarton, no, showing no. it all off. Uh, I've got no, a blessing no, no, no. protection. So in this one, we get the big circles. We let one hit, and then we do a blessing protection on the second one. If you have your links, that will allow you to dodge almost all of the hits from it. You might get hit by the last one. But those circles hit pretty hard. Also, hi, Kaini. And then every time you reach 10%, what happens is one person gets yeeted into the abyss, like Rixie is being thrown in now, to go face the true boss. Should I wait for one more? So you can come in, too? Oh, uh, no, I think we're fine. So once we get enough people in there to DPS, we just simply stand back. Like right here, my only goal is going to be, oh, I'm going to get hit by that, aren't I? Gape. Oh, Alpaca and uh, Rosie are perma-dead. <laughs> so Aww. this is what happens when, um, this is what happens when you run out of lifeline. As you can see, Alpaca here, you cannot get back up. You can see in the left corner there. Oh, we're done. <laughs> no, they can. Alright, fingers crossed for Pallid. I choose this one. Blacksmith manual? It's something. I saw a, I saw something, you know, round, and I was like, is that, is that, is that? <laughs> No pallid this time. Thank you for the follow, uh, Lazy Cactus. I got the gauntlets for the bulwark. Hmm. Team right. half robe, nice. I'm gonna use some cat paws, get my mana back Ooh. up. And we're ready to go. So yeah, once you have the damage output, you can really just spin straight through Glenn. Like, that yeah. was a short run. Um, it looks like we actually... I, I bumped the ad back with a five-minute snooze. It looks like that, that actually was not necessary to complete it. <laughs> so in about five minutes, you guys are going to have an ad. I actually think I'm going to use the restroom really quick and just have that ad run when it was supposed to. That way... Uh, no no more ads for an hour. So I'm yeah. going to take just a moment to go to the bathroom. Uh, please feel free, absolutely free, to mute the stream. I'll tab out for a minute. Uh, nothing's going to go on for just a sec. I'm sure Brixie will be explaining stuff on his YouTube side of things. Don't forget to go follow Brixie on YouTube, Firelight. Yeah. We're, we're also on Twitch title. right now, so we're, we're, we're good on both platforms. Oh, right. Bolti streaming is allowed now. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't forget to give Rixie a follow. I'll do a shout-out. And then I'm going to run that. Uh, 
and I'll be back in just a moment. All right, all right. Yeah. Um, let me think. What what mechanics did we not? So we didn't show the deer in the boss room. Um, I'll break down the uh, the health percentages for the boss on normal. Uh, since we got some time in the chat here, when the uh, the witch and the golem uh, first show up, and you get them down to ninety percent HP, it begins a timer. And that timer is the number of mobs that are going into the, what do you call it? It's like the soul cauldron thingy. Um, so it fills up. Once it gets to 30 souls, it is an instant party wipe. So you want to prevent it from getting to 30 souls. Um, the trouble is, every time you kill any of the uh, little adds in that room, uh, it will add to the counter of souls in the cauldron. In addition to that, uh, just in case, you know, you were dead set on not killing any mobs so that the counter doesn't go up, it will automatically increase by 10 every so many seconds. So you have a very, very limited amount of time before it will reach 30. Uh, it, it gets a little nerve-wracking when you see it at 20, because, like, you know the next tick of the, the plus 10 is going to just wipe the whole party if you if you let it get there. Uh, who did what now? I saw so no a thing and didn't what... see what's going on. Oh, thank you for the follow. No thank matter what, it's like a hard timer then, it seems. Yes, yes. Um, there is a way to bypass that, and that's the mechanic we didn't show. Uh, when you get to 90%, that's when it spawns all the adds, and it will also spawn a deer on one of the two sides. And the side that it spawns on is kind of random. You can't really predict it. The, the side that has the deer has to kill it, and underneath where the deer um, is oh, defeated God. is a portal. Uh, you can send one player through the portal, and they can actually kill the, the souls to remove them from the, from the uh, soul cauldron. I, th I think it's called a soul cauldron. We're going to call it a soul cauldron. We'll see if I was right or wrong when we get in there. Um, but they can lower the count, so if they're fast enough... They can destroy all the souls before they get absorbed, um, so it'll never reach 30. So you can spend as much time in there as, as you feel like you can survive. Um, it's just somebody has to do that, or you have to be fast enough with the damage to get the boss to the next phase. Um, the next phase starts at 65% HP, uh, which is where it will begin uh, attempting to absorb the souls. At that point, you have an extremely limited amount of time uh, in the within the Soul Cauldron, right? So the player that goes in through the portal that the deer creates um, before you get absorbed along with the souls. So you have to leave the leave that area at that time. Uh, it'll give you a message on the screen, like the white text in the middle of the screen. It says uh, they're preparing to absorb the souls. Uh, so you have to go back through the portal and rejoin everybody else. Uh, or it just, it'll just absorb you, which means you die. Um, and dying in that realm is kind of spooky because no one can come in to, to help you. So it's kind of... Yeah, you don't want to do that. Uh, and so it'll try to absorb the souls. And then a red light will appear on top of two players, one on each side, one day, one night. Those players want to run directly at the boss uh, to avoid... Um, you know that how it like spawns all the circles everywhere to do a bunch of damage? It will do that if the, the bosses aren't hit with the explosion from the red light. I am so back. if you have a... Welcome back. So if you have a red light over your head during that phase, you want to run directly at the boss, stand as close to it as possible so that the explosion hits it, and then we skip the, uh, the circle phase there. Uh, and then the next mechanic is once we get it to... Um, is it 55% HP or is it 60%? It's one of the two, I think. Um, it yeah. will then stop absorb. It'll stop the, the soul counting. Um, so that's when you know that you've passed the the damage check, basically, to, uh, to avoid the party wipe. 
Uh, and then it's the same mechanics exactly um, that start again at 45, and it goes down to 25 when it starts trying to absorb the souls. And then at 20%, it'll, uh, it'll clear that out. Um, and then it's just take it down to 10% HP to start the uh, final phase. Oh, let me give us a new voice. Oh, you want me on night side? I can do that. All right, so... Oh, yes, uh, time for your number two. Come get your oh, protection, yes. free protection. Come get your protection here. I guess we're doing a full flip. I was just going to flip today specifically so I could show up each side on the stream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can do a full flip, too. This is the first time I've done day side, so... Same. It's blinding, just be ready. It, yeah, it's, just, <laughs> it's the same, it just looks a little different. It looks worse. <laughs> I meant same as in I'm the first. This is my first time doing night side, so I've not seen it yet. Night side is nicer. It's uh, easy on the eyes. The boss is a little bit more mean. So this uh, time, but night, as much. Yeah, we kill the deer. The we won't. Oh, never mind. Atelier killed the deer. Don't kill the deer. <laughs> what do you mean? I like killing the deer. If you want to do the mechanic again, we can. I was just going to show it being skipped. Um, oh. There is a way to sk still skip it. Yes, you can get um, hit by the deer to get it stolen, the, the wood stolen back from you. Yeah. The deer is kind enough to take that back. Uh, here, there, there's a deer on my side. I'm going to see if I can convince it to attack me. Oop, don't hit it. Don't hit it. Not the deer. Uh, Rosie, make sure that you keep your mana shield on. That'll help your survivability a lot. Yeah, I was just... I was running out of mana. Ah. I wasn't able to convince the deer to attack me. Oh well. All right. That that was the issue last time was I was running out. So now we're back to that second room. So this one once again, the big the big uh, mechanic here is that the plants will take reduced damage as you hit them with the same type of damage from the same side. So either you need to switch up damage types, say from magic to archery for ranged. Or having have them be hit from the other side. Oh, it's right over here. Um, however, if you just one shot them, you also just get around to that mechanic entirely. Yep. <laughs> There's a there, another option. A pro a pro tip is to use abilities that only hit one time, so that you're not triggering multiple times of the reduced damage. Um, yeah, so you'd, you'd rather want to use. Idea. Yeah, you want to so use fireball, like fireball would be rather better than thunder. than thunder. Yes. Yeah, hailstorm's a good one. Shadow yep. flare's a good one. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then in hard mode, that that room changes drastically. Yeah, and it's random chance what mechanics you actually run into. Yeah, there's multiple mechanics in hard mode. We're not going to go through those today because I'm still learning them. Um, maybe one day when I am a Giga, we can have Mavalarni. my play. first ad break! Here's our, uh, red circle so we can time for the Wraith. And then one thing to keep in mind is that all Glen mobs, only three of them will aggro to you naturally. And then only a fourth one will aggro to you, um... For the cap amount that's that's like the fourth one is you attacking it uh, beyond that there shouldn't be more than four mobs attacking you at a time ever well that makes it nice because that yeah. multi-aggro should that that's some bullshit now keep in mind if you if you're using fireball fireball forces aggro from everything it hits which goes above that three limit okay fantastic course <laughs> right now which means wraith just spawned yep it's 45 seconds Oh, it's night side that we're running on. I was like, why? I, I just killed one. Um, yeah, the the Yeti's iframing me. So one thing that you can do is you can notice right now I'm not actually doing anything. I'm just hiding. If you have crisis, by the way, on the day side, you can just use crisis. Once you hit 100% completion, you don't have to do anything for the rest of the Yeti section. Yep. You, so you just have to wait for the other side to do it. You are free to hide and run and uh, be the and and let loose your inner coward 
I call it doing elf things. Yeah. Yeah. Elf things. So, right, in this one, we have that brazier. Now that one's appeared, Atelier. So, as you guys saw last time, before Atelier was having to do it from the night side, now that we're on day, first night side activates the brazier, then day shows up. Mm -hmm. Very easy mechanic to do overall. So, I'm going to go ahead and start another fantastic chorus to start the timer on the next uh, thing. Right, we got brazier over here. We got, yeah, we've got barrier on the side. I'm just gonna stay hidden. I'm gonna wait a little while. Alright, it's clear. How about it? If anybody wants to join me in the circle here, you're more than welcome to. It will make things go a little bit faster. The more people we have, the weaker the barrier becomes. And we did it. Just... Now this is one of those sections where Hailstorm range reforges become really handy for mages. Being able to hit these braziers from farther away is nice. Mm -hmm. I have no mana. There we go. So then, as before, well, our main goal here is to gather up into that central red circle. Dance of Death will give you a lot of uh, durability to just stay right here. Come on. And if you get Ice Beard, it's all kind of upside, because Ice Beard's just going to keep you locked in place without taking damage. Yeah. The knockback at the end of it's a little annoying. This is where Sharpshooter thrives. I'd agree. So yeah, see how I got Ice Beard? Now I'm like, I'm okay. And then my will trigger. Well, I think that's oh, I'm dead. my first one. You got blown up twice. Oof. Oh, no one's in the circle. There we go. Thank you. All right, it's not Most of uh, Dayside died. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what exactly hit me, but something hit me for 4k damage, and I was like, well, I'm dead now. It happens. Thank you for that. I, I'm... Turn, I turned you guys down because apparently you guys were louder than me, even though oh. I still had it down lower oh. than what my mic was. I don't know. We might have ignored an Ember Circle. I didn't see one though. So then same idea here. We we recoup, we give ourselves well my voice is on cooldown. I've already voiced for the group on my end. But we've died. Um, now, for the people who are new to Dayside, once your mana is filled up, come with me over here. I want to show you the rock. This rock is our best friend. This is our beloved rock. Um, if you stand behind it, and you just wiggle yourself in, sometimes WASD doesn't work and you have to click your way in. Once you wedge yourself in far enough, like that, you will no longer be hit by the golem. And then we want to let the golem, the golem load ice is... here. Unless the golem is also behind the rock. That yeah, the golem happen. can get behind the rock. It's rare, but it has happened. In which oh. case, you just stand on the other side of the rock. Exactly. <laughs> now, as an elf, I like to just hide through this, because uh, elf... Um, but typically, you want to be careful about dropping aggro near the golem. And on night side. Um, oh, there's geez. the golem. I was going to say, the golem has like spawned. Straight ahead. Yeah, there's that attack. And I'm just going to blast her with a bunch of debuffs. Time for the riveting gameplay of day side. Here, so you'll see him make an ice spear right between his legs. All right, everybody in the tree. And wear the witch on over here so that we're far away from the mob spawns. So we have the uh, kind of free reign to go after it. Also, uh, I just are you realized... ready for ninety percent? Yes. If, if yeah, somebody doesn't 90%. type, the bot doesn't automatically shout them out, and I have to do it manually. 
Okay, we got the deer over here. I'm gonna go show that mechanic if you guys are okay with that. Alright, so we kill the deer, and there's a little warp portal that shows up underneath. Oop, let me uh, get myself over in there. Oh, I see that ice sprite, thing. and I hate it. <laughs> Loaded ice spear, the worst skill in the game for enemies to be given. Let me get my uh, little buff here. Alright, and there's the ten little souls that it spawned, and as you can see, the number's going down on the right oh, did the... over here. I guess it already did its thing. Cool. And I'm just hey, uh, doing elf archer things. Now, one oh, of the mechanics yeah. that the golem does is it will spawn these little crystals every so often. Break the crystals. Otherwise, they spawn more golems. Which, it is okay if you kill the golems after they're spawned. They're just a pain. Yeah, it's just way easier to break the crystal. You gotta go back to work. We'll have a good time with the rest of your shift. Enjoy working, Lumina. Oh. But Dayside becomes really easy to just... What? Oh, oh goodbye. I didn't... I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Uh, Rixie, check your YouTube chat, Lumina says. Oh, the I YouTube think chat! I only did twice. <laughs> what is that? I don't have redeems over there. Lumina, I don't <laughs> have redeems over there. What is this exclamation point hydrate? <laughs> she didn't want to spend any actual... Oh, hey, he's been spawning ice clones out of the map. Boo work. Boo work, indeed. Another sip? I can take another sip. I just got my Master of Hailstorm title. Congrats! <laughs> what an enemy uh, to learn it on. You have that red light? Yep, okay. Let me, let me give us a treat. Bye, Tenno. Have you ever watched this show? I saw you being juggled there. <laughs> there we go, 10%. So once it's down to 10%, it pulls that first person in. You'll see Rixie is grapple-shotted or anchor rushed right into the center of Grandma there to get yoinked. And now we have a chance to deal with Grandma. So I'm going to Blessing and Protection on the second wave of circles. Oh. Then I'm going to also join Rixie on the inside. And then even here, the inferior section that you're going to see me warp to is the same map, so you can still use party healing to get through to the other side. So Rixie and I could be healed from somebody in the main area using party healing, or vice versa. Hello, crew. Throwing more Pokeballs at me. Oh no, I got double circled. There we go, I've put down all the debuffs and the buffs I can do. Uh, there's maybe a few I missed, but generally you just stack all the buffs and debuffs you can on this thing, and it's just free damage. The uh, the deer are a little bit weird. They will knock you over even if you have Iron Will on. They don't go through Final Shot, though, so Final Shot is their ultimate weakness. Um, They're so weird with that. Yeah, and they don't respawn, so if you kill all the deer in here and nobody else comes through, um, you're just free to just damage this thing. Um, but every time they send somebody else through, the deer respawn. So, and we're at, there's a, there's you don't a lot of send anyone else through because we're at 5% left. Yeah. It knocked me right in. And there we go. Oh. It's Another a, clear. There, there is like a PSA sort of thing. If, uh, and this is a rare situation, but I have seen it happen. If the party on the outside continues damaging the boss and it gets to 10%, and then for whatever reason, say like burn damage or tick damage or somebody just fires a shot um, and it does some damage to that uh, reverie in the middle and it gets defeated after the boss gets to 10% HP, it will teleport somebody through uh, even after 
everybody else is teleported outside to get their chest. And so they will wanna... not get rewards. Yeah. And they won't And it rewards. will consume your reward run for the week, just to be clear. So if you see the boss inside the Shadow Realm getting low on health, just stand back and wait, because you don't want to send anybody through at that time. It's better uh, not to risk it. Uh, First time that I had ever done Dayside, so I I found Dayside to be just a little bit easier. The it definitely my chat is. saying that Dark Side is easier. Oh, um, Dayside has always been considered the easier one. I think um I think they're they're just the same up until the boss, and it's whether you want to just wait for the boss to do nothing, or if you're okay with the witch doing all its. Little I agree with Italia. Really. It's harder to see. <laughs> yeah, it's harder to see, but it's yeah. easier to... It, it definitely yeah. was very bright. It's blinding. I'm I hit, I hit the uh, enter button. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you oh. for the party. Uh, I gotta step away for a moment, though. Yeah, thank you for stopping by. Alright, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed your runs. Also, I DC'd. I'm, I'm coming back in. You can find them at the castles. Yeah, I'm going very slow. Like, it's it's trying, it's struggling to load up, turn my fan on. But, you did things in Rixie's Twitch chat? Oh. Go. Guess what? What, what, Alpaca? <laughs> Uh, I can't join it until until I talk to Nao. I'm sorry. Lumina, Lumina did something to your text chat or Twitch chat, Rixie. I see. I see. I got. I got. I got the hydrate and the and the stretch, which were just hydrate highlighted and messages. Ah, no, you're they're, forced to. They're they're not they're not actually a hydrate and a stretch. It's just a highlighted message that says hydrate and stretch. <laughs> Uh, Alpaca, it means that you are the oldest person in the party. Is that legit what it is? Yeah, it goes based on character age. It's the I same way that people in Krom get chosen for the ghost. I didn't know that. He doesn't have any redeems for it? Well, it sounds like you need to make some redeems. Yeah, feel free. How about it? If you do, if you don't do rock strat though, dayside would be a lot harder. Yeah, dayside would be harder if you didn't do it. Um, there's another, there's an alternative to the to the rock strat that involves the rock strat. Uh, if you're impatient, you can have somebody use tenacious taunt and stand behind the rock to taunt the golem, and then everybody else is free to just attack it because it'll be lured to that person behind the rock, who it can't hurt. Um, that does that does work. It's just. It's easier wow. to just wait it out. I know Crit did his Glens yesterday, but he can still fill in for that last slot that we have. Yeah, I do enjoy that you can keep running Glen even after you're max. <laughs> oh, it's such a nice increase. They should have done that with Tex, too. Absolutely. Because I still I have not agree. run a Tex since the update. I agree as well. That's the thing that's, like, I think the most upsetting about the update is because it encourages the solo runs for the drop rate thing. And then um, uh, it doesn't let you run with the other people enough. after you're done. Right. And, and that's the part to me that's really the the biggest complaint that I have. Like, yeah, I have other complaints too. Yeah. But my biggest complaint is the fact that it then stops you from continuing. Out. Like, mm -hmm. if, it, if it still... Uh, if you can still run, because like I, I enjoyed running with friends, and I hate that sure. I'm disincentivized to help people now. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's been my complaint every time. Um, it's like you. Oh, Bellas either... needs to clear. Um, run. I know that Bella's in another stream and also not probably not listening. Mm. Um, they don't. They don't want you to carry endless cousins. I know, but it is still a feel bad moment. Oh, 
All because numbers would be nice to see. People. Two more. Yeah, oh two right, more never mind. Runs. Yeah, we have four runs. I keep forgetting that this event has the that extended. This this event is weird. I don't know that we've ever had like a master plan, like ish half master plan. <laughs> It's like we we finished master like you plan. Have half and then repairs. It's like, yeah, we have half repairs, and we still have ball chain limit increase, and that's like the weird thing. It's like if it was, just and it's like not the like the ball chain limit limits. increase that you pick for the week. No, no, it's just no. It's just yeah, just a flat out <laughs> ball chain limit increase, uh, like, but, but not the multiplier. It's like you <laughs> you don't not the three times though. <laughs> it's just a little bit weird. A little bit weird. So it, it's a it's a strange one, and uh, I did I did Lumi, I I hydrated. <laughs> got water. Yeah, diet master plan. Oh, it's not tradable. I was going to give Crit a, Crit a combat experience potion. They're trying to ease run limits in with it. I, I guess. But it's still... It's still strange. Anyways, uh, now that I'm accusing Bella of things. That is our mother. She's also my sister-in-law? <laughs> Question mark? What in Alabama's going on here? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, she she's my she's my grandmother, mother-in-law, mother, sister-in-law, and niece. Oh my I think goodness. I think that's all of the things. Kind of one of those. I'm my own grandpa. Uh, Fury's his own grandpa. Why is my why are my hotkeys not working? There we go. <laughs> uh, you can. I think they should just let you keep running with without reward. I I agree because one of the big thing is if if I could because I understand that they don't want you carrying cousins, but it just still feels like a punishment for the people who want to help bring other people in. Like I like to point at myself and Lilac, who we both run newer players through text to okay. enjoy. Or like when I first came back and Gari here helped me go through Feth for Smolder threads over and over and over again. And it just feels awful that they took something like that away. Yeah, I was I was doing that all the week before the the changes. Exactly. I had, I had people that as soon as I logged on, they were like, "Hey, do, do you want to help with this elite run?" Which, granted, we don't need passes anymore, so I understand like some like that of it. That part's nice. I I maybe they could yeah. make it so you can only run hard X ninety times, but in normal See, that's uh, that's what I was saying. Is there's like three or four viable solutions to this that wouldn't really impact drops or rates or Thank anything you. like that, you know? Um, Crit, stop asking and just join. Uh. No, the normal doesn't give anything good. You know it's he's just hard going mode. to ask you every single time. Yeah, I know. And I'm going to tell him to stop asking every single time. I did it, okay? I didn't know someone else was taking the last spot. Because you dragged me by my hair, Crit. Because you need your clears. Okay, buddy. I was doing them on Friday. Anyways. <laughs> well, now you get the bonus for the weekend. Yeah. Um, Something I would like is if normal didn't count toward your run limit. Because you don't get anything good in normal, right? Can you just not open the chest to avoid it counting? Or does it count like Glenn as soon as you it, get the key? Yeah. Yeah, that's when you Ugh. get the key. As soon as but you it's get the key. Like, so you'd have to dodge imagine. pretty early. Yeah, but imagine if you could just Creating keep running again. normal for smoldering threads, and like you don't have any like good drop pull. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to the other side. 
Sorry. See, Lista, I agree. Senmag, I think that solution is leaning better now. Um, like, there, there's just so much that they could have done a little differently to not be just a hard limit the way that they have it. Yeah. And that that's really my complaint, is I can see multiple ways they could have done it better. Yeah. Like, there's no, like, one solution. Like, it was like, here's a list of solutions we'd be happy with. Well, they applied Here's like a so many list things of that would be more fun. Too, so we should we should get a redundancy in earning materials. So to begin with, we should definitely have a pity system. That would be nice. I've run I've run fifty solo hard modes, and I have gotten zero of the Perseus materials. I've seen people get drops. I haven't personally gotten any of the drops. I've so. gotten drops, yeah. just not the Perseus materials, which is the only thing I'm looking for right now. Um, and Kat, I, I agree. Uh, I understand that I don't really get, like, I understand why they think that the limits are helpful, but I don't understand how it actually helps, if that makes sense. Also, we have kind of gone through most of the mechanics for Glenn in discussion. If you guys have any specific ones that you are still concerned about, Please verbalize it so we can discuss them in more detail. Otherwise, I think we're mostly just doing Glen runs at this point. Yeah. If if there's any points that you want tips on as well, like additional tips on, even if because like Glen is luckily one of those simple ones. I'd say Glen is probably one of the simplest, uh, like big dungeons that they've got. Do you want to skip mechanics next run? Yeah. Let's make sure that on the last run we skip the uh, deer. Atelia's got two. Yeah. Give me a minute, I'll go right. get a second one for you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what does he win? Uh if you look on the on the on the party board over there in the corner, you can see how many embers and firewood each member. I forgot has. the con. Um and Atelia's got uh, two, I'd agree with that cat. What is this? Firewood or embers? Two embers? I got firewood. Hey, you got firewood, Atelia has embers. Oh, and one other mechanic. So the icicle sprites, on the opposite side of the, as the icicle sprite spawns, there is an ember sprite. The ember sprite cannot be damaged. You have to kill the icicle spite sprite to kill the ember sprite on the other side. That's one mob that isn't massively important, but it can be a, a big explosion if you don't pay attention. Alright, there's our fantastic chorus. When that fantastic chorus runs out is when the wraith is going to spawn. So, you can prepare your anchor rushes or your grapple shots or your transformation iframes or sit on your pet when the red circle goes away to dodge it. I'm sorry, night side. You don't have the luxury. Why? It's okay, we have one. I'll tell you it did it for us. Nice. For some reason, our rabbit didn't spawn for quite some time. Yeah. Oh, and the rabbit does have a damage cap, so sometimes you'll one-shot the rabbit, and then you'll see it bump back to, like, 50% HP, yep. and unfortunately, that's There's just three. how Mabby does things. Dom. Just gonna jump on my pet. Wraith should be any second now. Yep. There it is. Wait, I still got Wraith's Ward even through being on my pet? The right. fuck? <laughs> right? <laughs> And then us on night side, we're going to stand away from that circle so Atelia can stay in there nice and safe. Now, while the nice. Gwillians may not be the spookiest on their own with the swords, they can be a little bit scary just because they can really guaranteed knock you out of stuff like Hailstorm. Because not only do they have a knockback, they can assault slash you, they can teleport behind you. And their scratch can be a problem. All right, everybody, come stand in the circle. Yeah, 
Wait, did I not? Oh, I didn't hit this one. Oh, who won the... Who won the Guardian Guild? <gasps> Juice didn't. No, I still don't have it. Oh no. We've lost our title for two weeks in a row. In a hotel room? What's going on with time? Um, being ran over by balls. Yeah, get used to it. That's just... That's how all high-end gameplay is. Getting run over by balls in Tex, mm -hmm. or getting run over by balls in Glen. Next they're gonna be like, oh, we've added a new update to Chrome. Balls. <laughs> balls More to balls the face. For your balls. Um, they I heard have... you like the balls, so here's here's balls to your face. Yeah, juice isn't guardian. We we lost guardian last week and we haven't gotten it back yet. Uh don't forget to come over to the central area, by the way. I'm dead. Oh, okay. Well, that's a that's a very valid excuse. Yeah, Lost did not lose. Unlike their name. So, my question is, who switched sides? Because usually this is a matter of recruiting, right? Um, from my understanding, it's mostly, it, mostly the problem happens when Juice forgets to <laughs> bring enough people. <laughs> Which Don't I can completely understand just based on the fact that, like, um, you've been talking in my chat. A lot of a lot of our juice members have been a little frustrated with the limit changes. Yep. Um, and in fact, I've I've noticed a, a small dip in player count. I mean, not just master plan, but I could feel it from the, the limit changes too. In my opinion. Mm-hmm. I uh, I I released a a guide earlier today, like very early today, um, on one of the few pieces of content that doesn't have a limit, still. Magmel, what? <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. That's, please put a limit on fucking Magmel of anything. Yeah, yeah, that one. That one I'm okay with. Like, just just throw that one into the void. That's okay. Limit one a, limit a month. On. We won't miss Happy. It. I'm sorry, Atelia. I know that you don't want it, but please. He'd rather run Ram. I'd rather run Ram. I run. I run Ram so much. I'm so tired of it. For a long time, I ran uh, 20 of them a week, every single week, back to back, by myself. Um, and I've still never seen a BME drop. <laughs> Apparently, Plus got two. I've heard the rates on BMEs have gone up a lot. Oh. Uh, they've dropped by, what, 30 mil? In price? Yep, there goes my mana. Yeah, sometimes you just get put into the corner with the fire and you just kinda... It's Sit just there. what it is. Take her like a man. <laughs> yeah, we're brute Pretty forcing much. the golem. It's full power and we're still just like... Even non I'll be advanced hard mode has. Wait, I'll be advanced has a limit of ten. Oh, I just died to something. I looked at my chat and something killed me. I shouldn't have looked Probably at my chat. <laughs> you got a BME last Friday, first time you ever got one. Congrats! It's oh, super okay. exciting. Oh no, somebody else got one too. Nice. Yeah, I've, I've been hearing the BME's been dropping, which is good. Now we just need to see some uh, some dawn blades, right? Yeah, fickle time times in a row. Oh no! Careful, fire time's happening. Get ready for twenty-five percent. The Who's edge. Get the red just light. let me out. Yep, and Who's don't forget when the red light happens, light. grapple shots really safe. Uh, it's a uh, Leah. Good luck, Atelia. I don't think we're gonna make it in time, unfortunately. All right, I'm going. I'm not gonna res you until uh. Until this is over. Chat the most dangerous ads. Exactly. Oh, did someone res you? Yeah. Oh, I was okay. gonna not res you until the explosion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can just... That's okay. 
Red it's okay. Hey, I've killed Rosie by rezzing, rezzing her into the uh, crown circles if, so often. If uh, a person on this side is closer than the person on that side, it will take somebody from uh, from day side first. You can do that. Uh, I do base. not have a protection. Okay. I always just hop on a pet and run. Oh, I'm gonna like... Oh, my veil saved me. Awesome. Bless Stardust. It's just so nice. Ever since I got my veil all the way up, I just, I can feel it so well. It's a big difference, isn't it? No, I just revived them into AO. <laughs> um, and, and yes, that's a... Uh, I, if, if that's the pop you're talking about, Senmag, it's just the, the dungeon voucher coins that you can't get so many of. Um, also, Octo, I, I don't know if MMOs are really your jam, because I don't see you play like this style of MMO, but if you ever do want to get into Mabi, I am more than happy to give you a starting kit and teach you. I love this game. Yes, we, we have plenty of starter kits. <laughs> Just ready to go. Yeah, if, and if I don't have a Which starter kit for sounds... anything you want, I can refer you to like six other people who have starter kits for everything I don't have starter kits for. Between all of us streamers, we probably have something. I don't even need to say probably, I'll guarantee it. So many bag <laughs> oh, yeah. coupons. <laughs> I have bag boxes for yeah. like doll bags. Three out of four runs. Never gotten anything. Hey, I got runs. five threads this time. Nice. I think it's a I'd gotten an average of three so far, so. I have 11, so I, I either got five, five, and one, or five, one, and five. I got five, three, and three for 11. I haven't gotten anything from these runs either. You have 1200 so. hours in Final Fantasy 14, so you're a little burnt out. Understandable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's easy to get lost in Final Fantasy XIV at the time. I've spent like over a thousand hours in it myself. This game has similarities and differences from Final Fantasy. I feel um, like um, yeah, Ronnie cool. loading is crazy. You got one, three, one. Damn. Um, this this game has a lot of cr like a lot of our players also play Final Fantasy XIV, um, but it is a it is an entirely different vibe of game, in my opinion. Not just vibe, like, it's, it. you can't, like, okay, there's a lot of direct comparisons, but there's just, both of them have things they are vastly superior than the other on. Um, for example, like, the die system in, in Mabby blows the die system in Final Fantasy out of the water just completely. A thousand percent. Like, the I, only I, game I then... found a better die system for, and it's only in certain aspects, is Guild Wars 2. And that is specifically because in Guild Wars 2 when you get a die, you've unlocked it permanently and you can apply it forever on any new items. Which I wish was the case with Mappy. Are we switching uh, sides again? We're close to that because if you know uh, yeah, we're the switching exact, sides again. If you know the exact like RGB, you can, like during the the one one or two events a year get that die again. Like, yeah, you can keep getting the die, but it's consumed on use. Where uh, yeah. Guild Wars Two, you know, once you you unlock it permanently in your like yeah. wardrobe, which is I think the the Superior. most uh, yeah, which I understand the actual, that wouldn't even, work for Mappy. Even even then, I think the actual like what parts of the outfits you can die, how vibrant the colors can be. Um, I think all of that is still better on Mabby outfits than it is Guild Wars outfits. Oh, absolutely, because Guild Wars outfits only have four parts that are dieable, typically not no, nowhere near as customizable, and a lot of the outfits are, like, you put on one piece that is your full body outfit. Like, like instead of having yeah. boots, hat, so on, it's, no, you have an outfit slot. <laughs> that part sucks. That part's not good. I just like to be able to reuse my dies. <laughs> and yes, yeah. you can also get your dies from G24 through the, the Moonstone removal quest, which I still have saved specifically for that reason. Because mm -hmm. most of my outfit, if you guys didn't know this, my outfit is mostly made of the Piran die ample set. I decided I wanted something that looks nice, I don't see on many people, but is still easy to get. 
and the pure and and one of the um night the pure and die ampule set nobody really uses the green from that but i think it's a lovely green when mixed with the brown mm -hmm. kind of reminds you of peas i guess yeah i do have the frozen peas under my computer a lot but I feel like when it's paired with the nice dark chocolatey brown, it, it feels very earthy. It's not too, um... It, it's not, like, toxic. I feel like a lot of the brighter greens are either neon or toxic looking, and that, that was not the vibe I wanted. The brightest green I want is more like an emerald, you know? Yeah, moss, foliage, exactly. Oh, we skip. Good, you skipped the mechanic on the night side. I completely yeah. forgot to do that. <laughs> no, I. I'm glad someone remembered. <laughs> I, I listened. Didn't. I I I wind blasted it off the side and I bullied it in the corner, but I didn't kill it. Please, I'd like to get up and use my hailstorm. Is that so much to ask? Yes. I understand that hailstorm is so uh, knock downable, but I want it to not be. It's better than it's ever been. I, I love how, like, Hailstorm over the years has just improved and also degraded. Because we used to have the Snapcast Hail, you could only stand still with it, but, like, if you get knocked down, it stays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now we can move with it, and if you get knocked oh, down, it still stays so as nice. long as you have more than one charge. Like, it's just the, the improvement, but also the... It can still get canceled. It's on just you. so nice. Yeah. I have been muted this entire time. Mm -hmm. Have you been talking to us and you're just like, why are we ignoring him? Oh, poor Crit, you've been talking to us this whole time. It's okay. It's fine. I was saying it to get bored. So it's okay. You guys are doing great. Please. 7,000 damage to the face because it just rolls on me and oh, I'm so far into deadly right now. Full recover, full recover. Go, go, go. Oh no, I have the healing to get myself back out. True. If I wasn't a saint, yes. Honestly, I have oh, to get- Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I need to slow down. He's been iframing things on our end. Yeah. Wraith. I dodged it. Um... He uh, definitely is annoying when he decides, I don't want to take damage for a while now. Please and thank you. Okay, can y'all stop hitting me for just a moment? Atelia, I'm, I'm in the same position where I was just like, oh, thunder, oh, thunder, oh, thunder. Yeah, when the, uh, when the bars get like uneven, it seems like it becomes more difficult to kill the Yeti. Yeah, that's, that's what happens when the bar becomes more even, is yeah. it actually busts him up. Yeah, so... Um, I've actually gotten to the point where he has um, become fully immune Yep. to all damage. Yep. Yep. That's the pain. Yeah. That I'll requires a lot, though. I was getting Look, we can't burn wolf. any more firewood, because we don't have any embers. I appreciate it, Alpaca. Here, I'll do it. That thing. Uh, I got these two. Yeah, archery being able to just snipe the brazier from across the room is also handy. Especially with ass being so good. Yeah. Everybody loves ass. It's funny because this is like a dungeon where archery was already really insanely good. And then they're like, let's just make it better, right? Yeah, and then, then the, they. And, the and mascot. Yeah, the mascot for the dungeon becomes the archer guy, and you're like, yeah, they, they really they really intended this to be ridiculous for a specifically Glenn. Uh, <laughs> I'd actually say, so I was expecting um, Diviner to really be the uh, the Krom killer, but I feel like Alchemic Stinger does a lot, a lot more in Krom than I anticipated. It's, it depends on the percentage, because the higher percentage you go, the, the worse Stinger gets, just because mm. of the protection. Um, it's not at any point bad. It's just 
there comes a point where you're better it's off. It's not as ridiculously good. Yeah. Um, I want to say that breakpoint is around 50%. Um, and once you get over 50%, you're no longer just legit one-shotting things. Uh, see, I, I'm a, mostly a 30% runner, just because that's yeah. my grind section. At 30%, you're broken. Yeah. Um, where... Dark, don't get, and don't get me wrong, Dark Diviner is really, really good. The fact that it can uh, demolish the Karis, amazing. Mm -hmm. Ow. But yeah, even a 40% run, Stinger's pretty broken. Um, it also doesn't do too well at bossing Irisan, uh, which is weird. I guess I could see that. Well, it's mostly because both Aqua Volley and uh, Plume immediately aggro anything you hit with them. So and they have some pretty big AoEs. Yeah, so you have to be very careful which direction you fire your abilities, because if you're hitting mobs under the cloud halfway across the room, you might not even see it, and you've just caused a huge mess. Um, the all blind gets delay. Running out. I did not know that. Yeah. Oh, one second. Kitty cat. Hey. Hi, love. Sweetheart. Yeah, 30 is great for sharpshooters. Sorry, love. There we go. There's Ronnie Stinky, what did I do? Found Gamba? What'd you find? Where did you find Gamba? Lumi? What Gamba? When did when did that message come through? I need timestamps on these. Found <laughs> <laughs> Gamba? Oh no! Look, Lumina already gambles away all of her points on my stream. Which let's see, how many points am I up to? It doesn't even tell me. There we go, top points. So I have, uh, it's me, then Tenno, then Dream, Jess, and Atelia. I wonder how Dreamer made it up there. I don't remember Dream being at the top. Probably some Gamba. I was still at zero points for my last Gamba attempt. Look at all those beautiful debuffs. Hmm. Delicious. Oh, um, for, for that part, um, that's the best part to have the tree for, in my opinion. I mean, Saint, Saint oh, the, also the flame good, section? But yeah, when, when you just get bombarded with those things that are constantly doing damage to you, it's such a, really good to have there. Such a frustrating section. I tell you, are we not doing the mechanic? Are you just killing it? I was gonna ask, how long are we supposed to wait behind the rock for? Normally, uh, it would be yeah. normally we would all be behind the rock until it loads. Um, you're uh, ice looking, spear for six, six, eight seconds. You're looking between its feet to see when it loads ice spear, and then wait and like count like six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, and then you can leave. As long as it's holding Mine Ice Spear. Is. If it lets go of Ice Spear, then you have to start over the count. Alright, Reef High buff sign. And honestly, it's still not massively a problem if you just do it normally, frankly. I mean, the Golem hurts. There's the Golem hurts. But if you stand far enough away and you have a healer, you should be okay. And and mana shield, yes. If you should have mana shield out. Or standing behind it seems to be okay too. I ain't getting hit. Yeah. Well, the, it's the uh, I, it seems to be glitched now. The way I like to do it is have somebody behind oh, the shit, rock it's with me. tenacious taunt. That's that's the fun way for me. Hey, look, Lumina won. Congrats on your gambles. Lumina won. Oh, that's the gamble she found. Hey, look, she won again. Now she's up to 800 herbs. Oh, no. 
getting addicted. Eesh. Oh, not bad. Alpaca also won. I could just rig it. I could make it so you win 100% of the time. <laughs> That's cheating. That would be awful. How am I supposed to lose all the all the things if I can't lose? Uh, I do that to Lumina all the time. I just give her all, all the stuff that she lost. Here, like, uh, points, Lumina, C. I run away. And for you, Cad, Aira, Aira. That's my next goal, is to set all of my, my point stuff up. Well, as always, you can uh, ask for help and I'll help set you up. I will take you up on that. One good option for this, by the way, when she does the AoEs, is if you have a Fallen Fairy pet or an Alto pet, their on summon gives you a lot of movement speed, so you don't have to actually mount a pet. You can just dip duck dodge without. Yeah, that's what I do. When I can. Could we have a field day with these routines? <laughs> there you go, Bella. Thank you. Uh, we don't need to hit the Cali our ours anymore. Yeah, it's it's gonna die very, very quickly. Oh, wrong button. Oh, this is this is one of those with once the, you get set up. right underneath my feet. I think that's a sign. Uh, exclusive, exclusive Bella, Pallid. Hang on, Bella. Did you pal Pallid all of the for Bella? Exclusives from, all of the exclusives here are good, right? Um, it looks like Whirlwind. Yeah, See? still good. No idea what that one does. That one's the dual gun one, right? The one that. Lumina has a, a winning streak. Speed. Lumina went from 800 herbs to 25,920. <laughs> she just keeps winning. Ha! I did it. <laughs> Actually, that's not terrible. I did need fast. And there she goes. She lost them. This is the first time I've ever done all of my runs. See, the secret is, if you lose all of your base herbs, you have nothing to lose anymore. I took all of the points that she lost and put them in mine. <laughs> Three yeah, I will... in a row. On my Discord, in the Mabby Learning section, I'm not only going to be posting this, I know that Rixie has a video for Glenn that went over yes. everything that we just did. Yep. I didn't even um, have to ask, I knew. <laughs> yep, there's a, there's a Glenn guide. It's uh, very fast-paced because I did not get enough footage to, like, slowly... Like, I had, to, I had to speed talk my way through that one like an auctioneer. Oh, hey, look, it's the clip where you're so showing Bao the, the werewolf. Oh. Where, uh, is that the one where she says she could take all five of them? Or is that a different one? I couldn't really hear it, frankly. It was a little mm. muffled. There were a lot of fun moments on that stream. It looked like a lot of fun. You did really well. Yeah. Dog food. When we came in clutch with the dog food for that, it's great. Oh, Lumina asked if I'll be up late tonight. Um, probably because I slept for eighteen hours today. <laughs> I wasn't I mean, I supposed have, to be up late tonight. I don't. I don't have those. I have nothing set up. I've done nothing with any redeems or any like anything. So. Dog food, cat. <laughs> no dog food. Oh, we're we making Lumina dog food. Let me. One second, I can I can do this. Okay, okay, okay. I have bacon and potatoes somewhere. 
I still think it's messed up that one of the dog food dishes uses chocolate. Right? Uh, the dog biscuits, they use chocolate chip cookies or something, and I'm like, like excuse me? Wow. Wow. It's just poison in disguise if they're actually meant for dogs, which they seem to be. Um, is there anyone, is there anyone in, in this party that is needing for Frost Flames for their next link? I'm gonna say probably most of us. <laughs> I'm behind the times, man. I don't, I don't know what's normal anymore. I, I would assume everyone needs it. I'm Link 8, Harmonic Saint, no. and I think Nagari's oh, also, like, no. Link 8 or 9 Dark Diviner. Rami, no, yeah, I'm, still still working, Rami. I'm still working yeah. on my Dark Diviner links, personally. Thank yeah, you, we'll Rixie. The host. I appreciate you. Let's see, Ronnie, tell me when you're done so I can trade you. Uh, let me do... You can trade me now before I hit the cooking button. Yep. Because I need to cook Lumina her dog food. <laughs> ah, you got stuck oh, behind people. Please, Ronnie, please. Huh? What are you sorry for time? Can't find anything. What are we trading? Oh, damn, why are you all giving... It's going to be at end eggplants. I I'm trying to empty my inventory, okay? Y'all took <laughs> me from that, so I'm giving you a crow gift. Stop! No! I'm trying to clean my inventory. Don't give me more stuff. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, you got him instead of Origins. He'll be mad when I tell him in the morning, but he'll live. Okay, bacon potato dog food. He abandoned me, so that's what he gets. Revenge. Fair enough. Oof. Okay, I think this is about right. For luminous bacon potato dog food. This, I have to say, the color of this meal looks very unappetizing. Alright, I made it for Lumina. I'm gonna go more Hi, to it. How I, are you? I stopped myself. I almost right clicked on you to see if I could view the dog food you just made. Yay. I wish it worked like that. You just right clicked yeah, on the view didn't... their inventory. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, let me, let me check that real quick. <laughs> oh god, that'll be saucy. <laughs> oh god, then you guys would see my mess. I'd love to be able to sneak a peek at people's messes. It would be hilarious. Oh my goodness. Oh god, the error is I mean, that would be kind of funny. Computer. Let me let me finish catering these. I forgot to finish catering. My Hi. Neo speech, speech bubble. I'm gonna slide out of here so I'm not another voice. Okay. You take care, Bella. Take care. Thanks yeah, for I'm gonna go by. with your body level. Thanks for having Thank me. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. All right, Lumina now has her dog food in her ba in her uh, mail. Mail time. How often do you send her dog food in the mail? As often uh, as usually necessary. it's in person. I don't often send it to her in per in in mail. It's usually I hand it to her in person. <laughs> I'm gonna look back, and there's gonna be a clip of that mail time, isn't there? Yeah. Okay. How was work? Good. Did I ride home? Right. Do you know? Over here. That was quick. I have to say, I, I like how quick Glens can be. Yeah, I, I, well, not only are they quick, they're also still fun. Like, it's fun to run them, just to run them, even if you're not getting prizes and stuff for it. It's also yeah, I'm, I'm because, often like, willing to run the, run a handful extra a week just to make sure everyone gets their clears. And and it's kind of fun because like you get to watch other people and see see if they pull an exclusive. You know, there's a little bit of fun in that too. Like even and then I get to bully them and be like, I earned twenty percent of that, uh, even though I did nothing. Uh, <laughs> nah, we don't. I don't, I, I, don't no, I say it, I say it as a tease, <laughs> but um, I never intend for it to be true. Yeah, and I know some people like I'll to share so. drops, and I get how it's, like, quote-unquote fair, but, like, come on. It's kind of fun to, like, open a chest and know, like, you have a chance you're at it, right? Me. Not, not like, the party yeah, has a chance. Like just... I feel like it, it really, like, if you set up two split drops 
in advance, then it's perfectly fair and fine. Yeah. But until then, like, I, you can't... I, I always get mad at the people who do it, like, after the fact. They're like, well, we're sharing yeah. drops, right? And like, yeah, you saw the palette, now you want to split. <laughs> yeah. And everyone has to be on board. If, yeah, if no, people aren't on board, yeah. then you're not on board. Yeah, it's 100% and okay. And brace for ads, people. What? Lumi? Lumi, no. Lumi. What is What that? is Lumina doing? <laughs> yeah, my ads are gonna start Lumi, in, Lumi uh, grabs me emotes. Minutes. How dare you, Lumi? <laughs> oh, did Lumina subscribe to you? Yeah. Now you have to have the emotes. It's that easy. I that have simple. a response to that, Lumi. <laughs> You got the first founder badge? Nice. If I had a job, I'd buy a founder badge at Rixie's channel, but... Suck it, Ronnie? Damn. What a thing to say to someone who doesn't have a job. Oh, I think I, I, think I need to re, um, relink my Twitch account to my Discord. Because it didn't uh, post that I was oh, live Gary. in anybody's chat. Sometimes you have to make sure that the, the uh, streaming mode is set up, and if when you get affiliate, um, it does delink certain things because you have to have like relinked as an affiliate with the financials because you know you now you have financials in there, so it's extra secure. Uh, and Tenno, I hit yeah. I hit the grandmother many times. I beat an old woman today. Damn, there's a lot yeah, of people I at Chrome I... today. Speaking of, to Rixie. All time. Chrome. Oh, Chrome? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Barry Gelatina, the streamer. Hello. Hit any pallet drops? No, we didn't hit any major drops, unfortunately. Appreciate. If only. All right, let me teleport on anywhere. Uh... Yeah, Bella did get whirlwind. Actually, I need to deposit these checks. I'm, I'm like, dude, everything gives checks now. I, I. It's nice in some ways, but then the people who are like, I have a forty thousand dollar gold limit, and I'm like, yeah. That's that's <laughs> not okay. My issue is not the gold limit. I forgot that was a thing. My my gold limit's one point three bill. In uh, per, in your character or in your bank? Oh, in my character, it's fourteen, almost fourteen. Okay, I was gonna say, how did you get to that on your character? Yeah, no, uh, but it's just the, it's the I have to go to the bank now because my inventory's filling with checks. Uh, it feels weird. You need more emotes time. I understand. I understand that. Yeah. The ability to turn checks straight into into gold in your inventory would be nice. The problem would be if you did it that way, you'd then have to pay the bank deposit fee for the gold. Oh, I gotta find birds. Uh... I'm... I'm gonna dip out of the voice call, but thank you. I'll still be in the chat. Take care, Mio. Let's see. Thank you for running Who with us. It was fun. Just get VIP. No, no fees. I mean, doesn't it just have a reduced fee? Um, I'm not sure. I message Doggy. I swear I know where this is at. Oh, there it is. No. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, look, someone just logged in. Perfect, I will message them. Now on Friday you get to do your giant cleanse, nice. Have a good night, Alpaca. Enjoy your sleep. Lumi! Is Luna still hanging around in your chat? Shouldn't she be at work? Yeah. I, I, yeah, first of all, she was doing work. that during Second of all, what is this? Last night too. This, is, this is the opposite of what should be happening. No. This is what I do in your chat, Lumi. This isn't what you do in my chat. It's wrong. Else, on lunch. I hmm. stopped. I raced. <laughs> Why do I? I always try to message friendless before Fair. I just open it to the guild. <laughs> Fair. Because the guild will fill up the slots very quickly, almost guaranteed. Around. Yeah, body. Yeah, you can come along, Lista. We only have two people here right now. A person I'm still jealous of um, is somebody who I don't see online ever, Pasternak, who I am still upset that, that she dropped her. She used to have an ego healing wand, the classic healing ego wand. And if you heard the keyword there, used to. <laughs> she she dropped it. I'm so sad. Because she healed her base healing skill was like a thousand minimum. I was so sad. Uh she changed it out for a new healing or a new ego. And I was just so sad. Oh no, she didn't lose it accidentally. She she moved on. I guess Crit would like to run the Kroms, I guess, since he's shown up. I think I might work on some I don't know, maybe Stardust, maybe some uh Stardust is never a bad plan. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, Rosie. I'm kicking you from the party. It's okay. I figured since you guys had everybody, because how, how many people can run that? Four. Four. You can join back up. Yeah, I figured you, you had everybody. Or, or who, oh, I, I didn't think... I'm somebody? sorry, I didn't know you wanted to run. Yeah, list is logging on already. I oh, apologize. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Hey, Stevie. Run. Burn. Run, crit, run. What are what are we? Where's the running? There's it's not waiting. It's running. Go. There we go. That's running. That's appropriate. Good job. I'm covered in so many balls. Um. Oh. Well, I want to see. I want to see. Hold on. Let's see. Yep. Can confirm. Covered in balls. And uh, yes, you do have blob emotes now, Lumina. You have the Rixie blob emotes. Also the squee. <laughs> and yes, Glenn, I'd say, is shorter and less frantic than Chrom 30. And hopefully, now that you know yeah. that you can just click and hold to attack... Prom 30 should be less frantic for you in general and less painful in the hand. The the blob emotes are free on the Discord, by the way. If you just the, the... But I have it too. Oh, did did you gift me a sub? Oh, so you did. Did you know, Luna? Luna that that stops me from getting a founder's badge. Did you know that?
<laughs> well, whoever gave me the sub in Rixie's channel, I appreciate it and thank you. Damn you, hopefully those extra frost flames get you much further. I want someone to buy the BD coupon that I posted so I can not be in debt anymore. <laughs> Man, I could I could buy a Perseus weapon with that. I could get the fifteen materials. I got I got the it's weird because I got the the stupid manuals before I got any of the materials. <laughs> so I'm sitting on the manuals and I'm sitting on all the other materials. I just need the fifteen new ones. Now you start cranking uh, out this. I'm gonna put on some warm socks. The new Perseus ones. But yeah, uh, Musia, the, the, the blobs are free on Discord. The the Discord server is just easy to hop into. Exclamation point Discord in the chat, I assume. Does that work? <laughs> Hold on, does it work? I oh, forget. The, the, I set up some if you of those. Set, I was going to say, if you set it up, it does. Uh, no, I didn't set up Discord. Oh, but I do have this one. I think that is something that I have already had set up, is where it'll uh, automatically oh. send you an invite into um, Origin. Oh, the subscriber one? Firm. No, I have I have one where if you type in ident uh, exclamation point identity crisis, Lumi enters the chat. I see. Her link shows up. <laughs> if you do need any bot help, Rosie or Rixie, I am, that's what I'm best at. And Lista, I don't know if if you're still listening, we have uh, we're on channel 7. I'm gonna go to my homestead real quick and do my finny boss. Appreciate. Appreciate, my guy. Uh, I think this one also oh, still works right now. Yeah, it does. I'll have to turn that one off. The free frost foot threads from the event. Yeah, I, I definitely liked being able to buy all those extra frost flame threads. What was the other one? There was one more too. I'm gonna remind myself of what the what the other Every time let's see, let's see, let's see. Bankroll comes around for Phantasm. I fill up on so many succubus mini gems that it lasts till the next bankroll. And oh, as long as I fill it up with every right. so often my LB advance runs, you know? Oh, she found it. Lumi found it first. <laughs> I just saw that it was it was that and came back to type it and so, mm -hmm. so you already found it. Now, when are they adding Chrom to the dungeon guide so I can just warp straight to it? <laughs> right. And and the pity coin things. Right. Oh, exactly. Man. Dude, I could get, I could get the the dungeon coins for completing Chrom too. The and... the guaranteed cat marble in your uh, <laughs> from from forty five clears that they'd have to just, give us. Just watch that price drop when you can cousin it. Or not even the cousin, just is like the other helpful. the other characters on your account, you know. Mm hmm. Yeah, the revive from Link Ten is super handy in Chrome because it it basically guarantees you an extra an extra chance if everybody wipes. Up to four if their whole party is saints. Super handy. Um, I actually have all of my uh, phantasms done, so I can claim. I I never claim my rewards from my uh, dungeon guides, even though I definitely should. What should you spend your adamantine coins on? Probably the the Gargashi or not Gargashi, the glass Galbian materials. Oh, 
Uh, Lister, are you still on the way, by the way? Oh, hey, look. Okay, it works now. Words we go. Better type the link right. Yeah, we did it. Ooh, crumb. Um. Oh, I'm on the. I'm on. Ooh, I don't know. Say bad things. It's okay. I tried to press Hailstorm and it opened up my tailored menu. <laughs> I tried to press BFO. And it did. The fencing animation. Fair was, enough, yeah. Makes I was sense. very far off. <laughs> Should switch my clom uh, buttons. Oh, hit no die. Alright, I need a phoenix on before I forget that I don't have a phoenix on. Okay. There we go. The map's back on the top. Honestly, I think the might the, the correct balance for my stream might be I just have to remove stream avatars when I do harder content. Because no. that seems to be the balance. Oh. All right, let me get this guy way over here. Okay, we're all good. Any leather? No. I'm always looking Melcy for fine survived. leather. I love when Melcy survives. Um, I have not crit. I, I am still actually, I need to look into Kofi. I finished my first uh, commission, and I need to look into figuring out how to get paid for it. <laughs> still. I promised yeah. I would look into it, and then I just didn't. Uh, well, I mean, I looked briefly, but I didn't, I didn't finish the job, you know? Oh, this time we did kill Nelsie. Where? Oh, she's, was she in the uh, pile? In the, My yeah, bad. she's in the pile. <laughs> My bad. Explosions. I am full up on door chest, so. Well, I should change. Oh, they really the require a lot of combat time now. I should change the stream title. How do you do that on Twitch? Oh, that's a good idea. Um, it's somewhere here. My edit stream info button is grayed out for some reason. Ooh. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I know. Ah, oh, there I was saying last spot. There we go. Second wave is Kari's. Hmm, they survived. Oh, I don't have BFO on, that's why. Oh, did it expire? Yeah, uh, crit. Wait, no, 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 oh, okay. Well, Not I guess fine. we're facing pursuers now. That's fine. Oh. That's uh, maybe a lot more than I thought it would be. I was loaded up and, and crit also loaded up for uh, Spinning Slasher. 
and I couldn't cancel it fast enough to stop the, the dog from getting out. Oop, I see an opportunity. I took it. Did it work? It worked. Nice. Alright. I've got one car out to the side here. Yep, We're not even going to have to... Um, to and, yeah. Yeah, luckily we don't even need to use a prog there. It's okay, I'll just blame crit. I'm usually I'm usually down to blame crit for things. Ooh, a gem! Oh, it's too late to get it. Uh, crit, to answer your question, no. Oh, did he ask a question? Yeah, he asked if I'm becoming a full-fledged streamer, and I said no. I mean, are you not? Also, somebody knocked the dog in there, so we have another stack of pursuers. Yeah, I I tried to shoot it out, but it didn't work. Oh, please. It's fine. Allow me to heal myself. Something rang. What happened? What happened? Cold Vu! Cold Vu! I don't like this mission. Appreciate you, man. Lumi's already on it with the exclamation point. God Vu in the chat. Appreciate it. <laughs> Kofu breaking the fifth wall. Oh, crit, make sure you're hitting things to not, uh... You want to make sure you get credit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll stay in the YouTube ba basement, it's fine. My uh, hide is up in two. Here? Right. Okay, my hide is hidden. Oh, now crit has your credit. Hide is, your hide is hidden? I mean, it was. Oh. Crit? Okay. Good job. Good job. Um, that way. And then... I'm getting closer to the destination. I'm doing um, one of the generations where I have to steer the ship and follow that light. I love it when they um, decide to use their shooting rush in the in the red or in the in yeah. the darkness, and then I'm like, okay, you can you can just choose to die. That is fully allowed. <laughs> That's the last one. And oh, I should set up on on slobs for the uh, for the input display. Do I, uh, Wait, you're using I slobs? It? I okay. I have it separated. I use slobs for stream because it allows for multi-stream. I use um, OBS for uh, recording. Does OBS not allow for multi-stream? Uh, it is just very easy for me to do it from slobs. Oh, I and, didn't know. And also the safety net of if I press go live from OBS by mistake when I'm pressing uh, start recording, right? Because the buttons are right next to each other. I don't have to worry about it accidentally going live. Oh, see, that's why I have it confirm. Every time I try to hit start or stop have, stream, it asks yeah, uh, with a pop-up. Are you sure? Are you I positive? I have it confirm, but it's just I cannot stream from OBS because there's no stream key. So I am 100% safe. Uh, and I like the the guarantee from keeping them separate. Understandable. It's also I, I I don't stream very often. It's not like a you know what I mean. You mostly do recorded content, yeah. All right, I, third I and fourth days of parties. Getting there. I'm um, probably going have... to be streaming more often myself. Yeah, I do have OBS set up for streaming. I just need to enter the key in. So, like I have the the stuff set up and everything already. Um, I just don't. Fair enough. Uh, 
Oh, right, PFO. Oh, Pursuers. Again? What a treat. For me? Well, this one was just the percentage chance. Yeah. Oh, we're really here. Oh, there you go, crit. I've avenged you. There we go. Now they're separated. I remember like a month before the update, I remember uh, running a 100% and mm -hmm. somebody being like, it really messes me up when you use archery in, in the last room before Aerosan. And now Why? it's just like, <laughs> well, because um, with the way that the spawns are, uh, they they tried it. it. This was before the new Arcana, so there was no like Dark Divine or Hex Child sort of thing. Um, and I, on 100% runs, you get Dark Kari. Mm -hmm. So using archery in the in the first bit, I used it for crash shot to guarantee that. Um, sorry, I need to actually pay attention to for a second. Understandable. Um, I used crash shot to hit stun the mobs so they could get the death mark off. Um, but it messed them up seeing it because they were thinking I was like doing like magnum shot stuff. Ah, uh, that's understandable. In the middle of a bunch they... of like dark caries and you know. Uh, don't forget to leave one alive. That wraith in the corner of it. Oh, shit. Oh, I have five seconds left on that. I got it. Nice. Ooh, that hurt. Honestly, I love how both the Arcanas that came out have really strong crowd control. Yeah, it's nice. And specifically, like, nice grouping crowd control in particular. Oh, test stream mode. There's a test uh, stream mode? That's cool. Phoenixes, whales. Oh, Kofu went to bed. You have a good night, Kofu. I know you're already gone, but I'm going to say it anyway. Doll bags, too. Catching up. I want to cook more videos. Hey, an archer one for you. Bo! Arison gets to take more damage. Alright, um, I'm gonna be right back for one sec. Okay. I'm gonna leave my chat watching you. Hey, Emmy, thank you. I paid good money for this hat, so it better be. <laughs> It's actually even toggleable. I do. Boom. Boom. But I love the, the floppiness of the physics on it. And it actually matches Boom. my in game hat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my uh, end goal is to kind of have a model that looks like my my character in in game, as as one of my options because I like having so many different looks. I have, God, like twenty something different models that I use that alternate between two D and three D. Welcome back, Rexy. 
Thank you, thank you. Imagine if it was a talking wizard hat. Have a great time, Sinbad. Thank you for stopping by, as always. Sulfa King says, imagine if it was a talking wizard hat. See you having that. Oh yeah, let's turn you off. There we go. We're back on my perspective. Uh, have you got the cloud? Yeah, I can do cloud. Thank you. Last time I had to do it, um... Ah! Hello, your son. Um, get hit. No, wait, in okay, I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. Goddamn Irusan chasing me around. I just died. Oh, I got lasered. That was invisible laser, too. There's no chance. Happens to me as well. Yeah. Yes, Sailor, we're Mabin Gogan. How was the destiny earlier with Toki? Oops. Come here, Dark Kari. Get over here. One of these days, Crit will learn that the Thunder Blight is not great here. Why was I... I how was I not supposed to know that? What do you mean? You were playing it. With the Toki, uh, uh, was I supposed to just not know? How was I supposed to not know? Am I good to damage you, son? Hmm? Are we good? I see that laser. It may be invisible, but I know it's targeting me. Oh, shoot. Well, I guess that slime's just gonna explode and stuff. That, that's fine. Oh, no, 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 okay. For a second, that was almost bad. What? Okay, somebody explain to me what exactly even hit me <laughs> the first time. I know the laser hit me the second thing, but what was the first thing that even hit me? You got a cool cowboy hat? Nice. Here's the uh, cauldron. Melcy's dead. I'm going to the cauldron. Okay. Ooh. Have a good time at work, Luma. I just took a sip. I guess I'll take one more. Cauldron done. Nice. Yeah, I think it's about time for a hit check. What do you guys think? Ow. Personally, the thing that I still miss, Sailor, from Destiny is I miss doing the Whisper of the One mission. Are we, uh, just real quick, are we skipping a hit check or are we not skipping a hit check? I mean, I think we have the damage for it. Okay, first time. Go, 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 go. Oh, let me do my... I don't think they can. I'll let you guys know when it's coming close to done. Has he been deathmarked? Well, it was. 15 out of 30. Twenty-five out of thirty. Oh, I got stuck. Switch over. No, I'm ice. I'm on ice. Alright, I I switched to chain just before. So I can actually hit it. <laughs> Wait. Can I not hit it with chain? Oh yeah, chain, chain, chain is a special uh, attack, not a basic chain, attack. Chain, shuriken, guns, bow. Like, 90% of my weapons don't work for this. Yeah, no, <laughs> you, you're not designed for taking out his hit check at all. Do I have other weapons? Yes. Do I use other weapons? No. That's why I just make sure my offhand is always, always, always um, 
the... Oh, look at that damage. What was that? It was the negative 1.38% yeah, HP. Yeah, I got up to <laughs> negative point zero nine. Well, it went from like... It went from like 3% to negative 1 point something, back up to negative 1.06, and then it went positive again, and then went back down to... <laughs> Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, it went, it went up, down, up, down. <laughs> it's like, no, you can't kill me like that. Okay, fine. Yeah, we confused the HP bar. It's it's not as bad as the um as the rabbits though. The rabbits really get confused. Oh yeah, the rabbit seems to be the worst of pretty much all of them. Pause. Back in we dive. I'm gonna be honest, this uh this thing that says like raider from whoever is really messing me up with the with the chat. Like it's hard for me to read the chat because of that. Oh I, I turned that off a long time ago. You could turn it off? Yeah, you can turn it off. <laughs> these are these are the things I don't know about. What are these raid things? I don't understand this. <laughs> this is we don't we, we kind of have raids on YouTube now. They're not the same. Do you? Huh. Yeah. I know absolutely nothing about the YouTube versus Twitch community, you know. Yeah, there's supposedly a way you could you can raid from a live stream into a into a video. Um and it could be into like a video. video. Yeah. Uh that's pretty neat actually. Yeah, it's it's like the best idea for YouTube. Like uh, I don't know if it's imagine still after this you could raid into your, your Glen guide, for example. Yeah. I haven't I haven't ever done it. Uh, I don't know how to do it. What room are we on? Oh, right, room one. This is the first room. <laughs> it's like, wait, what do you what do you mean? We just started. <laughs> they all kind of blend together. If this was like the room before glass, I, I wouldn't even doubt it. I would just because it's um a different vibe. Like the shape's the same, but the vibe is different. If you know what I mean. Sure. Now, now, this room and um, the first room and the third room, completely identical. This room well, and, what I is it, the, the, both of the ones after the hallway? Sometimes Melcy doesn't think spawn. What? It's not going to work anymore. Mm. My, uh, I keep running into an error. I think it might be too warm. Aww. No, it's not. I don't know, I keep running into an error. But I was talking for a while, and True you guys couldn't hear me. Oh, no, yeah, no, you've not been talking. Yeah, I have. Or <laughs> you, you've not been heard to be talking, I should specify. Melcy! That Wait, can I get her? Time. Can I get her? There she is, I pulled her out. Good job. I'm bombarding the middle. Which is kind of a good thing, because my dog was barking really bad. Oh, and now oh. she's dead. Critical killed her. Critical murdered a small child who how had you, no defenses. How do, you, how do you live with yourself, Crit? There we go. After after everything was done, Critical then murdered a child. We we dealt with everything. The the room was over, and he's like, ah, oh, a child. Could have killed. Could have turned it off. No, he he hailstormed her. Not even that. He had to like actively <laughs> click on her. Could have turned hailstorm <laughs> off. <laughs> Could have just not. He could have just kept it loaded and not attacked with it. Yeah, even. the like the pacifist route was an option here. He's that type of person who, who runs Undertale and is like, ah, oh, you can do a genocide route and then forgets about every other route option. Crit, I'm listening, but I'm hearing nothing. I just see text. What's <laughs> what am I listening for here, bud? You're gonna have to give me more to go on. Ah, uh, yes. This this small child was slightly annoying to me in a different run, so I'm gonna murder her from now on. That that sounds accurate. That sounds fair. Melcy gave you problems in eighty percent because you killed Melcy. I guarantee you, it's because you <laughs> killed Melcy. If you don't kill Melcy, she's squish. She's so much weaker it's in the Arison fight. I'm if gonna you just raid leave into her you. Uh, I just tried to drink a potion. I'm fine. I promise. Second wave is Kari's. 
Oh, BFO. Okay. Please. Ow. Bang. Somebody play the, like, watch my 9 mil thing, right? Oh, apparently I was in the slime circle. I'm glad Defiance triggered. Together, okay. <laughs> you did the genocide route and then did Crit? Okay. He needs clothes. You okay, bud? Do Melcy's done dead killed. Rosie, you can't you kill for her raid. twice. Well, you, you can, but. <laughs> for those who do not know yeah. me, who I, I was the other voice in Rosie's channel. And for those who don't know Rosie, Rosie was the other voice in my channel. <laughs> There's a. No, okay. wait. I was, I was locked down by a. Yeah. Since my, my OBS yeah, is being poopy and not wanting to run. Yeah, if it starts to fail, right. sometimes there's no I better killed. option than to just say, I next killed. time. I killed the dog. Good. So there's no Put more the dog that. down. Just like Old Yeller. Maybe not just like Old Yeller. <laughs> I prefer to use a bow. I thought dual guns are one of your weapons. True. Hold on. Also, there's that crossbow skin. That's crossbow, that man. I wish I'm crossbows. So sad. I, I'm so I sad still want bow them skin. to do crossbows as a uh, as a different type of bow. Like, imagine if they you gave crossbows a whole different vibe and feel to them. You know or... what I recommended for crossbows? Because hmm. they they took my part of my idea, right? And I'm cool, right? I said bows should have draw strength instead of aim so the the longer you aim for the more damage your bow deals cool and that's that. true now and i said because crossbows don't have like a draw mechanic where you like tighten it instead the aim should be a guaranteed crit at 100 percent. that'd so, be like, pretty if neat. you if you waited for 100 percent every time you fired with a crossbow just instant crit and with the higher piercing now you've got like a decent weapon it wouldn't be better than ruin when I made these ideas up that like ruin and demo didn't exist, but I mean, yeah, they still need to give crossbow something that's not maybe maybe not as good, but something that's even close to comparable. I just I, I still think the crit thing would be a good job, guys. Um, I still think the crit thing would be viable, even because oh if yeah, you figure, like a nightbringer crossbow with guaranteed crits versus a ruin bow, like. Oh, that's almost close. You can have it. You're the one who actually has cars to gather them. I don't. Hi. There we go. Water wave. What happened there? This way, slime. This way, slime. Thank you. This way, slime. This way, slime. Thank you. I figured I might as well try to finish G23 so that way I can run Kraken. Idea? Racer gone. I already Wait, dealt with the slimes. There was one, there was one more that got out. New voice vitality, because it's about to end. No BFO. Um. 
Alright, night time. It's night time for time. So good night time. Good night time. Night, night time to night time time. Third wave is Karis. And fourth. And freeze. And stop. Ah, my, my screen. Please. Mm -hmm. Two. There's a guy here. Oh, that's quite a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. And... Spice. That's the last one. Main last one. Clean. God, the the dark diviner just suck all the enemies into one spot. Feels so nice when combined with Hailstorm in particular. Because Hailstorm doesn't have nearly the, the reach on splash damage that Fireball or Thunder has. Mmm. True. Uncap Thunder target limit when? Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? Oh, I forgot about this wave. I'm glad someone didn't. <laughs> someone was paying attention and it wasn't me. Got you. That should be it, right? Oh, I get two bows. Nice. Archery enhancement times two. Ah, don't forget ragdolls, phoenixes, whales. You know what's goofy? This whole time I'm doing this, like, no power potion, no nothing. I don't have my guild power potion, so I haven't used one. Yeah, ah. but you're not doing max damage. Well, yeah, but I have magic attack power potion. True. Are you at 1400 without it? No. Oh. But I'm also not a Dark Diviner. Do you want magic power potions? Oh, I, I have them, I just never use them. Okay. Because I forget about them. I'm, I might have quite a few. Wait, what happened to my stamina? Please, Melcy, she keeps locking me into the circles. This is why Melcy's a problem, by the way, guys. This is this is why you get rid of Melcy. I have 11 seconds on my... Let me just, uh, help with this. Oh, that didn't help at all. Okay, one Dark Kari down. Uh, I will do this. There you go. Second Dark Kari down. Of the little lightning chains on Melcy. I have to say, I really loved uh, Cryozen's little, you know, the, the laser headed shark video. Yeah. The guildies always be doing the memes. Also, I have been stifled so many times. Where I, I do my iron will and I start up my hailstorm and then he hits me with a laser from off of screen and I'm like, ah, well, fuck me, I guess. I'm heading towards, uh, yep, culture. Right. Come on. What the? Oh, okay. Well. Okay, buddy. 
What's it at? You can teleport away, buddy. 15, 20. Yeah, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to get Polymorph, because I'm getting lasered, too. He oh, thundered me into a laser. Ah. Take this. Take this. And that. And this, too. Take all of these. You're a bad I mean, at least we're not going straight into the hit check ah. while we're polymorphed. That's that's always nice. Oh, I was hoping for it. I put on my attack speed armor. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go, hit check. Oh, damn, someone outside of my apartment is smoking some strong ganja. The whiff just came up to my apartment and I'm like, damn, that is that is some sh potent stuff. Don't forget to be summoned. Uh, I'm not doing the cauldron this time, so we can try and... Okay. I'll let you know when we're almost done. This time I actually remembered to go through and give him all of my debuffs. Okay, yeah, we're definitely clearing this one. Twenty-five. What? Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Change over. I put knuckles on. How does it feel you're about to get beat up by an elf with knuckles? <laughs> My worst possible weapon. Other than a lance, but I couldn't hold a lance, so. I just do the ragdoll. I just, it is my nice, safe option where I'd never have to worry about will we make the hit check? Because I know with elf we will, or sorry, with ragdoll we will. He's been negative for a while. <laughs> right. I just see the negative number bouncing around like are you are you gonna are you gonna let us? Not a... Exclusive pallid? Pallid crit, pull fire? Crit pallid? Crit power? Pallid? Pallid crit? Crit giga now? I mean crit's already a giga, look at that ruin stuff. Yeah, but you can you can go bit. Like, oh, ambush. Okay. This is a pallet. <laughs> Let's see. Where did it go? Why did it not go in my enchants bag? Where did, where did it go? Oh, it's on my offhand. Ambush. Oh. <laughs> Wait, did it really do ambush, ambush? Ambush, ambush. You didn't That's just rude. You. That's just rude. I think I've got one more in me tonight. Bet. Uh, the point of running Kraken is to get a heart so you can make the Perseus weapons that come from Kraken. Because those still exist. Um... Supposedly, Kraken Hearts are more common now. Supposedly. Yeah. Or you get a Misty Red Gem, but the Misty Red Gem drop rate was not increased in Kraken, uh, as far as I could tell. It wasn't listed as one of the drops, so it was... Yeah, I really hope that one day they are required to give us the actual numbers. Because even if they wouldn't like format it and they just gave us a raw info dump, I, the player the players would happily format it into something useful. I want them to do it because they're good people and not because they have to. I mean, I'd like that, but I'll settle for them being forced to. <laughs> 
because some games have already done that and i know with the, the whole maple story controversy where they're like oh well we can manipulate the drop rates and even if they're saying they they don't use it or they didn't get the patent they have the technology and that by itself is already enough to draw eyes you know hi melcy oh okay no you took too many <laughs> I, they weren't there when I started. Oh, and I have an ice spirit, so I can't protect her anymore. Um, I was gonna try and save her from critical. I did my best. Crit, no. Crit, no. Crit, no. Crit, no. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> The force to it means it's definitely accurate, not fudge. I hope that if they would release the numbers, the numbers they wouldn't fudge dynamic, it. Period. Which is why they can't get. See, my my suspicion is they don't give the numbers because they what they increase is the range at which they're allowed to drop, and not the actual like hard drop rate. Oh, I saw him making the beeline towards the yeah. corner. I'm like, no, no, no. Oh, please, please, please make it in time. I'm being careful not to hurt Melcy. Yeah. Just threading the needle with my Hailstorm splash radius. I've gotten really good at judging my splash radius on Hailstorm. Until displacement happens, you know, and well... Oh shit. Crit, don't Critical. Care. We're watching you. Okay, he's, he's wind blasting her. Uh, which way are we going? This way? Uh, yeah, we're still taking the, uh, green. Okay. Thank you, Crit. Appreciate you. Also, Sofa King, uh, we, we don't really need prog if it's physical damage, so if somebody's gonna prog, it's not me. I would have asked, I, I, I just, I'm not gonna, like, you know what I mean? I think they were asking that during the boss. Yeah, Crit, you stole best mod from me, motherfucker. Even though I mod more channels than him. But Bella was... <laughs> yeah, Bella was best mod. Huh? <laughs> stole it from both of you. No, nah, stealing, stealing is, stealing implies that it was yours in the first place. And no, I, I know who actually won, don't worry. Um, I, I'm just gonna bitch that everyone stole it from me. Um, I did it last year, this is gonna be my, uh, my, my constant, every year I'm gonna keep saying that I should get best mod and I'm not gonna get it forever. Oh, I man. was not ready look for that, that wave. Look at their HP. Look at their HP. I'm mad. Damn. Oh, I'm oh, that's mad. sad. That is so sad. You, you thought I was going to win Best Lurker, or you thought Rosie was? I'm going to true damage them to death. Oh my. Okay, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Does Hydra work? Wait, oh, Vance of Death works. Look, it's true damage. It's true damage. You can just all dance on them. <laughs> it worked. It's it's really <laughs> it's really fun to kill Irisan with Dance of Death in the middle of all the Kari. Just like in spite of all this protection that you've now garnered. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm gonna run in and I'm gonna throw the dogs at us. What dogs? Okay, good. They died. I was assuming that if they didn't get killed in the first hit, I would be there to uh, move them away from the corners. After that first time where we had Melcy. so many- Hey, look, Melcy's still alive. Melcy, can you please go over there, please? No, 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 no. Okay. The 
teleporting me. Okay. We did it. I made her stay far away. Oh, brace for ads, people. I apologize. I cannot turn them off, which makes them happen. Yeah, God, you, you think nice. the mage you, you'd think the mages would if the mages needed it, but it's just kind of a but we don't really like we don't need prog. I usually don't prog because I well, we have two ruined staffs, crits a dark diviner. Um I don't know what type of staff Lista has, but also a dark diviner, I believe. I was gonna say I know at least a demo staff and it is a demo staff. Yeah. And so we have enough piercing. Like, if we were still running, like, say, Celtic Druid stats, then yes, Prague would be not just nice, but a necessity. One day these carts will pull them in the appropriate spot. You know what? I think my only pet that has a pull is the, um... Do you remember the old, uh... Yep. The, the, the one that turns into, like, a, a thing when a you carpet? try to ride it. Yeah. Uh -huh. The little zombie guys. I think he's my only pull summoning pet. Alright, let's let's pray this cart works. Oh, that one's on cooldown too. Okay, all of my carts are on cooldown. So, we do this instead. Go that way. God, I love how much movement speed I get now that I have egoed puppet puppet bars. The speed that they the puppets okay. just Listen, run. Like, if you want to be a jerk and stand over there, you can just yeah enjoy standing. Over oh, you're just there. gonna do the the burn damage trick. Enjoy standing over there, Mister Wraith. I still find it so funny that it's specifically the wraiths that do that. <laughs> right. Like, not not anything else. Just just the wraiths. voice. Okay, third and fourth waves are Kari's. E. I got the last dog. Or we've both got the last dog together. As long as it dies, I don't care who kills it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. That's why I place them as an even higher priority than the Kari's. Stinger is a drug because the entire room is just in range. Please, no, the explosion, please, let me out. Um, get ready, because this might... Okay, I missed two of them. I'm gonna open up my chest. Wait, connecting to chat? Uh oh. Okay, I'm back uh, into I chat. I hear you, so you're. I always just get very nervous when my OBS is like, hey, connect to chat real quick. Mm -hmm. I'm like, huh, please. My Mavi still was fine. Um... Let me just take a look at my frames. Okay, less than a percentage of my frames are dropped to network, which means I'm okay. Okay, next wave is also Kari's when that one's dead, which is now. Three, two, 
one. Hello, Pestal's King. Crap. Honorable. Oh, it is a bow. There's a staff, by the way, of somebody. I'm gonna take the protection. How are you okay. doing today, Pastel Crab? Don't forget to update your phoenixes, ragdoll and the whale. Oh. Wait, do I not have a phoenix on? Since when? Since you died okay. at some point. I don't remember dying. Though, with the phoenix, it's kind of hard to tell the difference between that and defiance, you know? <laughs> exactly. I'm like, when did I die? Sadly, no phoenix. Understandable. <laughs> The only reason I have more than one is Rixie handed me. <laughs> yeah, I gave I gave you and Lumi and, and Code Vu Phoenixes just in case. Just in case. This is this is my this is my justification. Just in case there's like a uh a, like a early access server and there's more end game content and we need Phoenixes for it. Everybody's it got never Phoenixes. Hurts. Yeah. And we're some cool. of the um you we're some of the soul streamers that have a little bit more ready to go in terms of like damage and stuff. Yeah. I mean I I know Braz got his kit all sorted. And... Well Braz's done. He's he's fine. <laughs> yeah. So it's kinda just Us a... three are, just... are further up there than some of the soul streamers, but we're not bra levels. What am I complete. doing? Why did I do I that? I don't know what you're doing. At least it ain't the decision that you made. Yep, I made that decision. I pushed Melcy out to the corner. Yeah, it worked. I'm gonna work on getting this dark Kari. Yeah, I'm gonna hit that. Oop, hang up. It's not where it's at. It's actually somewhere oh. over there. There you go. Yeah, I knew, but um. There you go. Look at that, more. see that? Melcy's so squish. Did I just get lasered? Yeah, I got lasered from off screen. There's one more dark Kari over here. Um, honestly, if it's gonna stay over there, it can, it can live. Please, gotta, the laser again? Open. Okay. I'm lasered, so I can't do it. Uh, that's fine. Oh, shoot. I pulled in the slime, too. <laughs> Back Kill in there, too. buddy. It's fine. I'll take care of this. You go help with that. Wait, what did I just... Oh, no. Do mercenary summons count for doll bag slots? Yes. Can I... Okay, so I can't do mercenary summons and doll rag doll shenanigans. You can? <laughs> Because uh, while it's summoning ragdolls, you can still fill the slots faster. If that makes sense. To me, it's not worth it unless it uh, actually multiplies the number that I have. Yeah, because because the ragdolls them... summon fast enough. Uh, I am not touching the balloon. We're at 20. Twenty-five. Thirty. Good calls. Good, good, good. Yeah, see we don't need we don't need problem. 
opponent's prog. It's nice, don't get me wrong. I like doing more magic damage. But it is nowhere near necessary. Hey, I got the finish again. I've gotten hey, the finish every time us. so far. He didn't troll us this time. Ah, uh, normal enchant. I was staring at it, waiting for the, the name to show up, and I'm like, enchant, enchant, enchant. <laughs> you know, we're focused on the enchants. We forgot the cat marble can also drop here. I have not gotten... Well, so... Cat marbles are just fully different, you know? Yeah. Another exclusive list of... Come on. I got a dawn. Not target. Not, not, uh, what's the other one? Ambush. At least be amnesia, right? Surely amnesia. Amnesia would be nice. Backbreaking? Amnesia would All right. be bad. That is also acceptable. Bad. That is very acceptable indeed. In they need fact. to remove target from the game. I'm just saying. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be wonderful? Yeah. Just remove it. Double the drop rate on ambush. It's fine. <laughs> At least ambush pretends to be a good enchant. I wouldn't even say pretends. I think it's a good enchant. For clothing, but nobody wears clothing. So it's like, you know, you know? Wait, am I th I'm pretends. thinking of amnesia. Yeah, amnesia is a good enchant. I was thinking of amnesia, not ambush. My apologies. Um, I mean, but, uh, like, at least amnesia, or at least ambush gives max damage. Target is just a blank scroll that's rank 5. Yep. It's like, yep. why? Yep, yep, yep. How to. How to lock your gear from enchants for free. <laughs> it's not for free for the cost of a crom drop. No, nah, I'm sh I am like 99% certain you could get a target for free if you just asked around. Like, yo, next time I, I, I don't target, think so because it would be on. Okay, yeah, next time I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah. I don't think anyone's holding it. <laughs> All right. I think I am uh, just about ready to write out. Rexy, are you gonna keep going? Um, no, nah, I'll I'll write out too. I'm here with you, so. Where are we going? Where are we going? Let's see who is going. I think Bella was in here earlier, so I think I want to raid Bella. Okay. Uh, how do we spell that? How do we spell that? I gotta double check the... Uh, Bella Donna Nightshade. Uh, I'm gonna go deafened on Discord for a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go talk to And I will be back shortly. All right, guys. All right, guys. We're gonna we're gonna do this. Let me. Okay, this, and then this. We copy, and then I think it's um this button, and I need to remember not to. I need to. I need to remember not to click off of this. I need to just wait, because raids on Twitch are weird to me. Um, YouTube people, appreciate you. Everybody that's that's on the YouTube, you're you're just fantastic people over there on YouTube. Uh, Twitch, we're raiding out. Uh, y'all ready to go check out? Belladonna Nightshade stream. I think, uh, I think it's time to go. I think it's time to go. Thank y'all for coming and checking out. Hope you learned a thing or two. Hope you enjoyed a thing or two. Uh, get the emotes in the Discord. I right, let's go. Let's go.